Hey, there's Ellie. All right, let's get weird with it. I was wondering when you'd show up, Little. I hope you haven't made any plans for the day because we've got a situation on our hands. Remember our good friend, the Phantom Thief? Well, it seems he's decided to branch out from burglary to cold-blooded murder. If the rumors are to be believed, he's claimed three victims already, all influential members of Uldan society. Mr. Many Faces has been kind enough to leave one of his signature calling cards at every scene, leaving no doubt as to the identity of the murderer. The message is always the same. The weight of five corpses will bring the scales of justice to balance. More riddles. Not that you'll hear me complaining. No, the only thing my readers like more than good mystery is a good murder mystery. Ever since the story broke, the mithril eye has been selling like puns cakes. The only rub is that it's left to me, uh, it's left me with no time to look into the thief's last message. Until now, that is, shall we, little? The hidden treasure of Ulda, was it? Hmm. If there's anyone who can shed some light on this, it's you know who. The Sun Silk Tapestries! <clears throat> I'm gonna hit that button to make sure that I remember where this is so I can clip it for the stream VODs. Alright. To the Sun Silk Tapestries. That's an actual place. He's murdering influencers. Run! Whew, I'm safe, actually. Out of all the people... I might be the most safe. <laughs> He's like, actually, you know what? Mm, he hasn't influenced anyone. <laughs> well, now, if it ain't my favorite venturing, adventurer and my favorite Mithra reporter along with him. Tell me, what have you done? What have I done? To deserve the pleasure of your company today. I see. As much as I like to help you, uh, two of my best mates. I'm afraid you only found why I'm in a loss. You have. Well, mm. Daw has more than its fair share of treasures hidden. And otherwise, I reckon our phantom friend could be after just about any of them. I can tell you this much, though. Whatever the thief's got his eyes on, it's got the Sultan swore in the right dither. Word has it they formed a regiment of their best and brightest safeguard the royal vaults was very flurried. The Sultan swore not likely to be forthcoming with information, but it's the only lead we've got. Come, little. I'd say it's time we pay a visit to the heart of the swan. Oi. Oh, just develop an accent I did, Ellie. Oh, I generally the worrying type I ain't. But you may want to think twice about getting yourself involved in this. <laughs> a man in my business felt snows for danger, he does, he does. And this time, the stench is something fierce. You're a poor Ellie, and a fine one at that. But don't put a pretty neck of yours out there risking playing a hero, eh? Your concern is touching, but I can assure you that I am ready for whatever dangers lie ahead. Besides, being a reporter is about more than selling papers. I have a duty to seek out the truth and convey it to the people. Come, little. Time is of the essence. Hmm, it says here... You're a nerd. Yeah, got him. Showed that guy what's what. Whoop, wrong way. Sorry. Sorry, Wyman. Still a nerd. Whoop, nope. It was the right way. Sorry, Wyman. <laughs> what if I just go in here? Alchemist Guild, eh? Mm -hmm. 
Out. Only authorized personnel are allowed in. Oh, thaw, bugger me with a broadsword. It's the Gentleman of Light's Adventure Companion, that catty but cute reporter from the Mithril Eye. Well, well. If it isn't self-styled warrior of light. Tell me. What tall tales did you spin to the Salt and Swarm recruiter to land yourself in this position? I can't believe this guy's back. This is amazing. Uh, only the Twelve's honest truth, miss. Uh, seeing the gentleman light standing tall and triumphant that day, it, it moved me. Uh, to the depths of my soul, even. Oh, I vowed to put aside my sketchy past and serve the realm just like my hero, Master Hildebrand. Uh, the Salt and Swarm were impressed by my commitment and my sword arm. They gladly welcomed me into their ranks. Wait, don't tell me. You've come to assist Master Hildebrand in his investigation, haven't you? Oh, Kor, why didn't you say so sooner? It's the least I can do to help the mates who united me with my role model. You'll be wanting to speak with Phyllis. Phyllis? She's one of the Sworn's best in something with a history... Uh, history bu and something of a history buff, it seems. When she heard the theme was targeting four relics of Baladia... She personally stepped forward and volunteered to lead the investigation. If anyone has information you're look looking for, it'd be her. Wait here while I go get her. I can trust you not to touch anything, I eh? And everything touched. Everything touched. A pleasure to meet you, Phyllis. My name is Ellie from the Mithril Eye. As you may have heard, we're researching the Phantom Thief case and would appreciate any information you may uh, that may shed light on recent events. Oh, the pleasure's mine, Miss Ellie. If I'm not mistaken, you uh, you would make your companion... Uh, that would make your companion friend here the one little JC, yes? Words just appeared in my mouth there. You know little? As a regular reader of the Mithra I would, I confess to being something of an unba unabashed fan of your work. I need a... I need a... Something happened. I need a Butterfinger to power me through. Reading out loud. Eat crispy. Eat crunchy. It's peanut buttery. Mm. But now I got Butterfinger in my mouth. Though it hardly benefits my station to say this, I was secretly hoping that you would show up to assist in the investigation. Doubtless the inspector, too, will also welcome a helping hand. The Sultan Swan. The elite of Uldar's elite. I can only hope they prove more competent than the bungling mercenaries I've dealt with thus far. Inspector Bryden! Always one step ahead of us. Miss Ellie, a little. A moment, if you would. Right there, very good. Now, face me and don't move an ilm. <laughs> Inspector? What is that in your... <coughs> Please. Demasking dust. A formula of my own devising that will allow us to see right through the thief's disguises. Analyzing the mask left behind at Vespa Bay, I was able to identify its composition and synthesize a counter-agent that would dissolve the disguise whilst leaving the wearer's face intact. In any event, it would appear the two of you are indeed who you appear to be. Brilliant, Inspector! The Phantom Thief's pulled the wool over our eyes for the last time! I fear it won't be so simple. The ingredients necessary to produce the dust are exceedingly rare. Even with the entire resources of the Sultan Sworn at our disposal, we were only able to produce a limited supply. I see. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. That said, have you been able to identify the thief's next target? A hidden treasure of Uldar? The last of the four lost relics of Belladia? I fear not. I bored through the histories time and again. But the only mention of these four relics is a vague reference in an old prophecy. Most serious scholars consider it little more than a fairy tale. No, that's, just, that's real. You know that's real. If it's an old prophecy, and everyone's like, ignore that. That's the realest prophecy. 
When darkness falls and hope fades to despair, four warriors born of light shall descend in the righteous glare. Where do I, where do I know that from? Where would I know, where would I know that from? The legend goes on to describe four sacred artifacts, one each possessed by these four Valadian heroes, but makes no mention of their appearance or nature. Three times we have tried to identify the thief's target, and three times he has foiled us by making off with something entirely, else entirely even. Needless speculation will only play into the fiend's strengths. All artifacts of Pelotian origin have been sealed within the royal vault and a regiment of our finest assigned to its protection. I have furnished all the guardians with a supply of demasking dust and instructed them to be on the lookout for any suspicious... Any suspicious personages. Cue... Cue the music. And cue... Uh, uh, the Black God will be in chains before he can lay a dirty hand in the vault tools. Let alone treasures. Then you have my word, my lady. But there are even more disturbing matters at hand. Doubtless you have heard of the recent rash of murders perpetrated by our quarry. Salt and Sworn have launched an investigation. But the truth of the matter is that we have been far too occupied with the defense of the vaults to make any meaningful progress. We would be most grateful for your assistance, uh, any assistance you could offer. A lady asks, and a gentleman answers. Yeah! <laughs> the heroes! Cast all worry from your heart, my lady. Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has arrived to set what is wrong, and to set right what is wrong, not to set things wrong, that'd be weird and exactly accurate, and bring the wicked to justice. And this must be the damasking dust. That is all the talk of the palace. Ah, but you need not waste your supply on me, Inspector. I assure you that I am exactly who I claim to be. <laughs> A shame that... Inspector Hildebrand, we were not expecting you, but your services are most welcome. I will share all I know about the recent murders. The killer has claimed three victims thus far. The head of a publishing consortium, a high-ranking government official, and an influential scholar. Other than that, they are all influential figures in their respective circles. We can identify no common threads other than that. We can identify no common threads connecting the three. Oh, this will prove a most satisfying case to crack indeed. And what of the method of killing? Conquer of the head with a cudgel, gutted with a great sword, strangled with a subligar mayhap? I'm afraid that we've identified no pattern. At any event, the murder plots, uh, the murderer plots... The deaths of two even more, two more, even as we speak. We must take action, and quickly. Understood, my lady. Clues may be scarce, but worry not. My realm-renowned powers of deduction are more than up to the task. I will see this burglar turn butcher delivered to justice. Your presence is heartening indeed, Inspector Hildebrand. Friends, please take this damasking dust with you. I fear we can spare but a single satchel, but I trust you will put it to good use. He may have a thousand faces, but with Inspector Bryden's demasking dust, the masquerade will soon be over. 
Come to accompany me on yet another case, friend? I like your gusto. But if you are auditioning to be my assistant, I fear that role has already been filled most ably. Still, a gentleman welcomes the support of all his admirers. I shall henceforth name you thusly, Little, my ever-loyal associate. And now, my ever-loyal associate, the investigation calls. I propose that we begin by inspecting the site at which the most recent victim met his demise. My questioning about the palace has revealed that the scholar's body was found not far from the 80 sins of Sasamo. Even the most circumspect, circumspect of criminals cannot help but leave behind clues. Clues that will not elude my gaze. Friends, let us be off. Pray, alert me should you see any, anyone suspicious, my ever loyal associate. We must put Miss Phyllis's demasking dust to good use. And then they vanished. Inspector JC, on the job. Is there like a, I guess, the best way is to just walk out, huh? What is the gate? What gate is that? So I want to be an alchemist. Nah, that's not true. Gate of the Sultana. It's another Tia? So many Tias. You get one Tia, suddenly you get them all. Suddenly all the Tias. Uh-oh, that's not even the right mount. For, a, for, for an investigation like this, there's only one mount I need. The awesome power of crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery. Buttery. Flower. Is that a clue? Is that a... Flowers? How intriguing. Flowers? Yes, it's all becoming clear now. Our phantom killer is a florist, who, in his hurry to escape, carelessly mislaid his wares. Oh, just what you think you're doing, I? Oi! Is close. I'm the one who put those flowers there, eh? To honor the memory of me poor boy. You did file his memory, eh? Oi. A thousand pardons, my lady. Please accept my most sincere condolences on your loss. I am Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. I swear to you on my own dear mother's name that your son's killer will be brought to justice. Ahem. <clears throat> As I was saying, these flowers are clearly placed here by the family of the deceased, which can only mean... Leave this place! Run away while you still can! Run far, far away! Run or turn you into a zombie! Just like me poor, poor boy! A living person turned into a zombie? Nonsense! Yeah, that'd be weird. Not nonsense! My boy, history! Or have you not heard the horrors of Silda? Isle Doll, sibling nation, against which we waged war centuries ago. My blood was shed. Much blood? I was about to say my blood, that's the wrong word. Much blood was shed by both sides, I. But I speak of far greater horrors than death. An unholy drought brewed by a Silda and alchemist. One with the power to turn the living to the undead. That his nation might command an army of mindless, deadly soldiers that traitors burn. They turned me poor boy into hope of rotten flesh and ran him through. Oh, but you won't hear that from the Sultan swore. For who knows why. But they whisked the body away before I could so much pay me less respects. The traitor spurn? I've heard the stories, but I never thought them true. To be able to procure such frightening thing, just who are we dealing with here? A Sildan, I'm sure of it. Oh, you only a Sildan would know the recipe. The last remnants of Sildan died four centuries ago, you say? <laughs> I'm Batty, 
I am? Oh, they did, they did. <laughs> she turned into salacious crumb. <laughs> ja you know what? Jabba's team, when Jabba died, his crew had to get up to something. He calls himself the fat and thief, he does. But did it ever occur to you that he might be an honest to God's phantom? I? I? Why don't we throw dust right on this lady right now? Just like, bam. Bam. No old lady goes, <laughs> unless they're up to something. Her tales from my own great great grandma, I did. About the four relics of Benadia and the powers they hold. The power to exact justice. A specter of Sildar has returned to wreak vengeance on us. Woe, woe unto us all. Have the four warriors of light forsaken us? Oh, my dear boy. If only you become a traitor like your father. If only you kept your nose out of history books and never so much breathed your curse and name of Silda. Oh, but you did. Now we're doomed. 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 <laughs> Whoa, thank you. Smashing Ein. Thank you so much. Flex on him. That bleeding horse son's here somewhere. I can feel it in me follicles. Who is this? Who is this? The most potent hair tonic the realm has seen. I that it was. It's this guy again. <laughs> it was. For all of a fortnight, afore me flowing locks fell out all me all over again. And just as I was chatting up a lovely young lass at the quicksand, just to twist the knife an extra ilm. Come on, bunk. Charlatan! I'll find that so-called inspector and his sorry band and put every last strand of hair from their bleeding skulls, I will. What? <laughs> Smashing Eye, thank you so much for that donation. Thank you to Anonymous <laughs> for $100. Again, everything you donate today goes to Extra Life. Um, even if it's bits, uh, I will be donating all the bits and things we receive at the end. Uh, and yeah, all of it goes to uh, a great cause. And more importantly, Butterfinger is going to match your donations today. So whatever you're donating, double it up this is what's about to happen. Shades from Silda. Living men turn to zombies. The old crones lost not just a son, but a wits as well. This guy's like, I would like to be a part of this storyline. It's all becoming clear to me now. That dear old woman's testimony has confirmed that which I had suspected from the start. Like a zombie picking away at its rotting flesh. Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has peeled away the foul scab of uncertainty to reveal the truth within. Open your ears and feast your minds on the fruits of my flawless deduction. That is a line. <coughs> Our phantom thief is a phantom indeed, a wayward spirit cut between the realm of the living and the dead for nigh on centuries since meeting a tragic end on the battlefield. As such, a course of action is clear. We must place this tortured soul that it... We must placate this tortured soul that it might abandon its vengeful vendetta and travel to the next life in peace. But what is the true nature of the specter's grievances? Without this knowledge, we cannot hope to assuage its rancor. Let us begin our search of the Thaumatologist Guild. Doubtless the tomes there contain the wealth of knowledge on the ill blood between sibling nations. 
notwithstanding the abject stupidity of everything else that came out of your mouth, some knowledge on soda might serve us well. Go research your will, and do take as much time as you need. You can count on me, Inspector Braddon. Whatever knowledge is to be gleaned at the guild, I shall n it shall not escape my inspector's eye. Y'all just gonna sit here? We gonna... I'd be much obliged if you could keep out of the way a little. Mm, I have some real investigating to do, and would prefer to be free from distractions. Can do. I will do that. To the guild! Hey, thank you, Sayrio, for that 474 bits! They will go to the kids. Goldsmithing, here's the thing. Goldsmith quests, um, they're very good. But the one where you, like, make the, the music boxes is great. That quest is great. You get to play the music boxes at the end. That was super fun. The Miner's Guild is all right. The best thing about it is the badass redhead who runs it. She's pretty amazing. Don't forget to summon my fairy friend. All right, come, Selene. Adventurers saved me back in the ruins. Researching the ancient feud between old and Silda, are you? Why, I'm pleased to say I have more than a passing familiarity with the ancient history. To understand the history of the sibling nations, one must go back further still to the birth of their mother nation, Pelatea. The fifth astral age was an age of untold wonders. Then the arcane arts burgeoned and the great civilizations that commanded such powers flourished. This age of enlightenment would not last, however. Power bred avarice, and avarice bred resentment. It culminated in the War of the Magi, which brought great floods and the sixth umbral calamity, which in turn swallowed one proud nations, uh, once proud nations even, and left a battered wasteland in its wake. Mages were reviled and persecuted for having caused the catastrophe, which many forced, uh, with many forced to leave their homelands to face death. It was a small band of those survivors that found their way to Thanalan, where they would found the nation of Belladea some eight centuries gone. Ah, oh, imagine a government of mages by mages and for mages! What wonders might have been wrought had Belladean civilization survived to this very day? Alas, this was not to be. Where's Mr. Face? Did I see a Mr. Face? Now you guys, I'm scared. I'm like worried. I'm worried I'm gonna see some like. Oh, hello. You don't say. It's not every day someone comes to our halls to research Silda. As a fellow student of history, though, I more than welcome the conversation. Melodian civilization flourished in relative peace until two sons were born to the royal family. The two were fierce rivals, and when they came of age and their father passed, each one claimed that he was the rightful heir to the throne. With neither son willing to relinquish his claim, they agreed to split their kingdom in two, forming the twin nations of Ulda and Silda. But not unlike the two proud princes, the sibling nations developed a penchant, penchant for rivalry. Alright, before we move on, the most important thing. This lady's trouble. So powerful. So powerful. All right, three open in chaos. This maybe yeah. blocked off from everything. Oh, no. I'm still gonna win though. Actually, nine. He can take this and this. Oh, it was a setup. Actually, if I block him off here, I'll only lose one rather than two. Just 
She's a strong competitor. She's the strongest of them all. Skilled receptionist Yayake. Ultros and Typhoon. Um. Do I take a chance to safety dance? Uh. Why even bother? Jesse Lewis. Well, this is a waste. Wow. Wowzers, meowzers. I'm about to get stomped. But uh, no, 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 no. Hold on. We're good. Nope, we're totally the opposite of good. What the hecky becky? All right, if I could use any card that was good right now. Is, is gave, gave me oh, look at this I have no le, uh, right side coverage oh oh why do I have all these powerful cards <laughs> these are the cards at random not random I guess it chose for me I need to build a deck I need to build a deck this is gonna put right there oh no you did not do that eh Idiot, you big dummy. We go there, sudden death. I'll defeat you! I'll take that. I'll go there. Oh man, I wish I could pull something cool off. I cannot. This is what you're getting. Alright, I'll put that there. Yes. I just got stomped. Oh, that guy just got stomped. I did. Whoa! Here we go. Johnny had a question for me in chat. Yes, Johnny. Hold on, I have to scroll back up. I, I'm, I'm timed. Hold on, Johnny. I got you. I got you, Johnny. All right, so that's secure. If I can put a thing here. Woo! Oh. I'll take it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. It's still good, it's still good. Give me a card. Come on! All right. Yes, Johnny, what was the question? What was the question, Johnny? Uh, hey, Jessica Cox. I've played WoW for over 11 years, and I'm thinking about getting, giving Final Fantasy a try. Is it hard to get used to? Here's the thing. Difference wise, it is so like if you can play Final uh, if you can play WoW, you can play Final Fantasy easy. The difference is that it is a game that is like I've explained this before and I will uh try to explain it again. WoW is a MMORPG in that the MMO aspects come first, right? So like all the things you think of when you think of an MMO, the rating and the like, you know, running dungeons to get gear and then the gear you know like that kind of thing right the the like great example is in order to do a raid you need dungeon level gear so it's like you do all the quests you get the gear you get geared up enough to to run dungeons you run dungeons then you can run like the mythic dungeons then you can run the mythic dungeons that then lead into the raids and then you have raid gear and then the raid gear lets you get to like harder raids right in this game it's a rpg mmo so the mmo stuff it's, it's there, it exists, but it's not the focal point. So going back to the analogy I just gave you, which is like, you run the dungeons, then you do the raid. This is literally like, you run the story, you do the story. By the time you're done with the story, you've done most of the trials, and then you have raids that you can do, but you don't have to do. And if you do them, you're not like missing out on a story because it's a totally different story. The raids are a different thing. You'll have beaten the story by the time a raid shows up. And then you go to the raid, it's its own story, it's its own thing. And if you do it, awesome. If you don't, whatever. And it isn't like, there isn't like a hard mode raid. There are hard mode trials and things, but like all the raids are just raids. 
and you like run through them and you, and you know you can do them and they'll give you good gear but it won't give you as good a gear as the trials and trials are like uh, you know just really hard boss fights you don't have to go through a whole raid or anything um it's also designed not to keep like i'm not gonna say it as a person who literally is spending his time trying to grind out a weapon i can't say there aren't like time sinks but there are much less there are many fewer time sinks in Final Fantasy XIV than in WoW. Because WoW is designed that way because it is an MMO first. It is designed to keep people playing engaged longer. And Final Fantasy XIV has sort of like, you know, you can walk away for a while and still have gotten a great experience. That's just like the huge difference. And if you're watching right now, you've probably seen me running around for the last, I don't know how long, doing quests with this guy. We have not fought one enemy, not once. That's what this game... This game has a lot of that. I'm literally running around with this guy doing quests. And the quests aren't like, kill eight of these or find this thing. It literally is like, meet me here. Go to this place. Do this thing. Talk to this guy. It's a story-based game. It's like a heavy story-based story, story -based game. Pretty much. So, there you go. If that, if, that, if that tells you anything, hopefully that explains the differences there. Uh, there are many more differences... And there are many things here, but I'll also say, I think WoW has a better starting experience. Having played through Final Fantasy XIV and then watched other people play through Final Fantasy XIV, I think the starting experience XIV needs to be adjusted and changed. Uh, just because it's like... Though I watched someone play through the first 15 levels, and I was like, oh man, I forgot that these are kind of a slog. It's, uh, it's tough. But the problem is, this is I think this is the inherent problem with the game that's story-based. Because it's story-based, the starting experience of Final Fantasy XIV is needed. So, like, I don't know how they would change things or what they would change, but, like, the Final Fan so the experience of, of, of WoW, they've changed so much to make it easier, right? Even now, the last expansion, they literally were like, hey, we are going to create a new starting experience that lets you get to level 10 easy. And it, like, teaches you everything. And we hold your hand through character stuff. And, like, we teach you abilities. It's very well done. It's actually very well done. Um, Final Fantasy XIV does not have that. In fact, from level 1 to about 50, it's pretty much a slog. But here's the thing. That slog is super important. And I know it sounds crazy. But, like, it is because everything that happens in that... Everything that happens in that... Because this is a store-based game, and 1 through 50 is literally world-building, and it's setting up the world for you, everything that happens at 50 and beyond literally is like, when you're doing a thing, you'll be like, oh my god, I remember, I know what this is, or I know, like, it, it, this game gives you the backstory. So when people are like, you know, when, when the, the trailer showed up, right, like when people were watching the Final Fantasy IV, the new trailer for Endwalker, and like, um... Charlie Inn shows up, and people are like, oh, that's because for however many years, it has been mentioned in the game. Like, the two twins, two main characters, are from there, right? It's been a thing in this game, and we've never gone there. We've never seen it, and only now they're showing it to us for the first time. And that is a difference in WoW, where WoW is just like... Let's, let's talk about the current expansion, right? In WoW, they're literally just like, uh, yeah, so there's, um, there's like a, like an afterlife, and in the afterlife, there's four locations you can visit, and here's what they are, and they're pretty neat, and you can, like, check out these different things, but, like, we've never once been, like, there's never been a moment where a paladin was like, ah, oh, yes, Bastion, one day I, Uther Lightbringer, shall go there and be a defender in the, uh, like, there, it's never been mentioned. Not once, like, like WoW does things that are cool for the sake of cool, and Final Fantasy is like, we are gonna tell the story, and it's gonna be the thing. Like, you can tell they like this story arc makes perfect sense, right? To be fair, Jesse, that's what they did with Zandalar. To be fair, the Zandalari were good guys. <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> to be fair, the Zandalari were good guys, and then they weren't. So, and then they were again. So, I mean, that's just, you know, they were good, then they weren't, then they were again. I guess that's war. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is the WoW's writing team, while they do good work, is 
their story, like their overall storytelling is nonsense. It's retconned repeatedly and it like, it isn't cohesive, right? Characters drop off the face of the earth and then come back uh, whenever they want to. Like characters just appear and then leave. Meanwhile, Final Fantasy 14 is literally just like, here are the characters, here's their story. If a character is no longer needed, that character m might die or go off into the sunset and do something else. Like, from the beginning, the main characters we've had in the story have been with us from the beginning. Like, there, it, it straight up is like, we are getting, it, this is a story arc, and no matter what happens, the, uh, you're in for the ride. Like, they have the story planned, and even if you don't like it, because there's some people who literally dislike the final boss of the next expansion. Like, all, like we've known him for so long, people are like, I hate that character. And not like, ooh, I don't, they're just like, I don't like that character. Meanwhile, I'm like, I love that dude. But like, that's the story they're telling. They're telling a story and you gotta live with it. And then they'll then they'll deal with the rest later, right? And so, I mean, they can literally say, they can literally say, 6.0 is the end. Like they've said, next expansion is the end of this story arc. So when you get when you buy the expansion, when you buy 6.0 in uh, November, that's it. Like, when you beat the game, that's the game. And then they're like, we'll do 6.1, whatever, but that'll be like the new the new story. Whatever new story we're going to tell. So, like, that's... I don't think WoW could ever do that. because Not because of the writers, not, but because literally they're, the way they approach the game be it through Activision or whatever Blizzard has decided, is is it's a game as a service. And you can never say, we'll have an ending, because then it gives the people excuse to be like, and I'm done. Like, for example, in Final Fantasy XI, I quit playing Final Fantasy XI after the first story arc ended. Like, I, I did the whole, like, boy, prince, evil, villain thing. <laughs> and, uh, and, and the story ended, and I was like, cool, I'm good, I don't need to play... The, I don't need to play the the next one that like took place I think in like Final Fantasy XI of anime Japan right I did I did the the chunk that was you know I fought the big god deity above the planet and I ha I hung out with Prish or whatever her name is and then you know I did all that and then I was like I got what I wanted and then I moved on and that's when I actually started playing WoW I was like I'll check out you know I'll check out WoW and I started playing that and was totally into it and here's the thing. This is the big, like, when I finally sit down to finish this video I'm making, this is the big takeaway at the end of the day. In Final Fantasy XIV, from the beginning, you are the hero. You're the warrior of light. Everything that happens in this game, everyone is, it, like, you are the hero. So every character, because you are the hero, they recognize that they are not nearly as important as you when it comes to saving the day or, like, continuing the fight or whatever. So these people... They need you to live. So everyone in this game is like, we will sacrifice ourselves for you. And that's like the story. That's like the story. And then the like your character has to deal with that shit. Like that's, it's like the emotional toll on a, on a person of like, not only being the champion, but also like everyone, like all your friends are dropping like flies. Meanwhile, and wow, what is the, uh, What's the what's the story of Vanilla WoW? When you started playing Vanilla WoW, what was the story? Just I'll take a minute. I'll take a minute and wait. I'll wait. What's the story? The reason why you don't remember is because there was none. There was no story. The story of original WoW was you are like a dude in the world of Warcraft, and that's it. The fun of original WoW was that you were in this world that you had played in the in the uh, actual, like, Warcraft games. And that was it. It was, like, what your guild did made the fun. It was if you were in a, um, like, in a, uh, um, in, like, a RP guild, that made the fun. It was exploring and finding new things that made it fun. It was, like, trying to get into Mount Hyjal that made it fun. It was all these different wacky things. You made your own story because you weren't the main focus. And you were never the main focus, even when we fought the Lich King. We weren't the main focus. We were pawns of that. Like, even though that expansion had a great story, we weren't like, we were made the champions and then we're total pawns. 
If you know how that ends, we literally, the Lich King was like, dumb bitches, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We were the pawns. And so, I, I eventually, WoW made it so that, like, you're the hero. Like, you're the champion of whatever. But, like, the difference is, they are trying to tell a story now compared to when they weren't. And so it's awkward because it's a game not built on story as its foundation, and they're trying to add it in. Versus this game where story is the foundation and everything else is added in. If that makes any sense. Right? Like, I hope that makes sense trying to, like, explain it to you. But that's the difference. Like, gameplay-wise and the way you do... It's not, like, it's not... It's an MMO. Right? It's roughly the same equivalent. But the experience is drastically different. It's a, it's a massively different experience. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Yeah, and that's Ashcroft. That's the, that's the biggest thing is in WoW, right now they tell you you're the hero, but because of the way the game plays, it doesn't feel like you're the hero. Um, a great, like, this is kind of spoilers, but I'm going to be very vague. So for those of you in chat who were like, are we spoiling? No spoils. So the end of the last WoW, and this is definitely going to be my video, and it's going to be spoilery in my video, but I'm going to try and make it spoiler-free here. The end of the last expansion of Final Fantasy XIV and of WoW are roughly the same. In Final Fantasy XIV, or I'm sorry, in WoW, you are going up against an evil, like, malevolent force that has been in the background for the entire time, the entire length of the game. It is this evil that you finally have a showdown with and they are like, it's the final fight with this thing. And in the end, you are sort of like the channeled being for the uh, like, for the people who are gonna, like, you You go there so you can shine your, your necklace at this thing and kill it, right? And they're gonna like send you the power and you can like, boop, and kill it, right? Meanwhile, in Final Fantasy XIV, you are the one, like, again, malevolent force in the background. It's the final throwdown with this thing. It is something that has been there the entire time. I'm not going to get any more specific than that. People who have done 5.3 know what I'm talking about. And so it's this thing's been, and so you have your showdown with this thing. And of course, it is like one of those moments where this time, instead of them funneling the power through you, whoever is trying to kill this thing is using his or her power but can't do it. So then you, the hero, lend your own strength to get it done, right? And that's that's the difference, right? In 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 WoW, you're the one who who is like there to be the focus point, but everyone's funneling their power to you because you're like the grunt doing the work. And in Final Fantasy XIV, another character is doing the work, but because you're the hero, you're there to support them because they're your friend. If that makes any sense. So hopefully, hopefully that like gives you a vibe check on like the difference between the games. It's roughly, if you break it down, it's roughly the same ending. But the difference is then also in WoW, you defeat that boss and you get an ending that's like, I don't know, 30 seconds long. And then you go back and there's some text. In Final Fantasy XIV, you beat that boss and then there's like an hour and a half of cutscenes. <laughs> And there's like an hour and a half of cutscenes. Anonymous with $50. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Krug. Thank you for the 25. Another Anonymous with 50. Eller. Ellermentary. Eller, thank you for the $25. Thank you so much. All these donations we matched today by Butterfinger. Thank you, Butterfinger. Anonymous with another 100. This is great. Thank you all so much. This is fantastic. What are we up to right now? $1,900 and 40. 1940. Look at us. Look at us. Thank you so much. Here's, the, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I know why most people stick with WoW. It's because the community they formed, like, here's the truth. Final Fantasy XIV is like a group of friends hanging out, dressing up, like, hey, I want to go do this thing. Anyone? Like, it's very lighthearted. WoW is like Band of Brothers, y'all. It's like we have been through some stuff that's like it may have sucked. It may have been the worst. Like, we've thrown our head at a raid for like 85 hours. Like, you know, you feel bonded with people. 
and you don't want to leave them because like <laughs> it's totally true because you're like in it because you're in it you've seen hell and and you're like i don't i've been through some sh i love you bro like that i mean here's i've been in guilds and guilds are literally just like here we go this is the real hero never mind this is it it took it took dressing up like that but now me All right, let's get back to this thing. Knowledge is power, and surely our former friends have a wealth of knowledge on the feud between old Don Silda. Let us begin our inquiry. This is where I started out on my black. Can I tell you something? <laughs> this just goes to show you. I will say I kind of understand why the starting experience of, uh, of uh, WoW is a little bit easier and better than 14 because in 14 you don't really have to do the starting experience again and in wow you 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 know a lot of times you do so i like get that and the only reason why i bring that up is because at a certain point in time <laughs> my number my very first class in this game or job i was a black mage i now have all these other jobs leveled and i still haven't hit 80 with a black mage. <laughs> i realized i didn't like black mage i still don't like black mage I still don't. I'm still not a fan of Black Mage. I think it's too slow. Like, it just... I, I like faster ability. I'm just like... It's so slow. There's times where I'll go to... Like, in Bosnia, I'm trying to level it up in Bosnia. I'll literally try to cast, and the thing will be dead before I get my cast off. And I'm like... What? Stand in ley lines? I, look, I know. I just don't like it. I just don't like Black Mage. Meanwhile, Red Mage... I love Red Mage. Red Mage is so good. I love Red Mage. I love Warrior. What else do I like a lot? Uh, I really... You know what? I really started to like... Um, what was I into? What was I just talking about the other day? Loving? Uh, I like Monk, even though I heard Monk was kind of like trash. I still like Monk. I don't know. Have I seen the newest set for Red Mage? It looks dope. What does that mean? What new set? From where? Oh, hello. I'm going to give you a hash of fun. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you this. Is that Nor 1? Greetings, traveler. You would learn of the war between Uldha and the fallen Sultanate of Silda. It would be my pleasure to enlighten you. The two city-states coexisted for several generations until the bad blood between them boiled over, culminating in outright war. As you might deduce from the present, <laughs> present state of affairs, Uldha emerged victorious, leaving its once proud sibling nation in smoldering ruins. As the histories tell it, the battles fought between the sister nations were the stuff of nightmares. In a desperate attempt to overcome Uldah's superior numbers, Sildan Alchemist devised the most horrific stratagem, employing a for uh, frightful formula known as the Traitor's Burn. They brought their fallen warriors back as undead soldiers. Some theories have it that even em uh, they even employed the potion on those uh, of the living who were too weak or wounded to fight. Send shivers up the spine just thinking about it. No, is it, uh, it is truly a crowning glory of our fair nation that our forebears were able to emerge victorious against these horrors. I just want to say I spent a decade in WoW from the, look, I spent 15 years in WoW. Um, but the game just lost its thing for me, picked up 14 at the end of Heaven's Ward and can say I don't regret losing the mounts and things I earned over the decade. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, it's all pixels, you know. We have a sense of like, I earned that, but like. What are we doing? Guys, what are we, what are we, what are we doing? What are we doing, fellas? What are we doing, fellas? What are we, what are we doing? Are we up to no good? What are we? Yeah, we're uh, uh, scheming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. All these little lalas up to no good back here. These are the troublemakers right here. These four. 
that's the problem is the black mage like area and the storyline and stuff is pretty interesting but it's like i hate i hate leveling it What's that you say? You seek knowledge of the bad blood between Uldan and Sildan? I suppose I can spare a moment or two. But take good notes, I'm not fond of repeating myself. Two scales, one of gold and one of silver. The gold of Uldar weighing prosperity and power, the silver of Silda weighing knowledge and power. But the power sought by the two nations differed greatly, yes, greatly indeed. The power wrought by Uldan prosperity was the just, uh, was that of justice and good, while well, the power wrought by Sildan knowledge was horrific beyond belief. The power to rip the living soul out of a man and render him a mindless killing machine. On this matter, the histories are clear. But riddle me this, my friend. Who writes the histories? And what does this say of the words writ within? Yes, truth can be elusive and fickle as the shifting sands. As one example, did you know that the war against Sildar, Uldar, and Amalja warriors fought side by side? Likely you did not, and neither did I until I encountered a faded passage in an ancient text buried deep in our archives. And yet, in the histories read by the populace, you will see no mention of this most fascinating fact. Maybe now that we're friends again. Might it be that someone, at some time, deemed this particular truth less than convenient? <laughs> but I've said enough already. Boop, 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 boop. Shh, don't spoil nothing. Don't spoil nothing for no one. Anonymous with $25. Thank you, Anonymous. Hey, JC, loving your productions on uh, for YouTube. SGS Village is amazing. Hey, more to come. Only smiles. No spoilers, only smiles. My ever-loyal associate, tell me, what have you learned from your questioning of the scholars in these halls? So much, dude, so much. Indeed. As it happens, I have learned much the same. Let us take a moment to review and allow my peerless powers of deduction to work their magic. A war of succession divides the great civilization of Belladea, giving rise to the sibling nations of Uldan and Sildar. The two nations coexist for some generations till blood boils over, culminating in outright war. Daunted by Uldar's superior military might, Sildar employs their advanced alchemical knowledge to horrific ends, transforming their own citizens alive and dead into fearsome undead legion. Yes, I believe I have it. The facts at hand have led me to one unassailable conclusion. Our phantom thief is a descendant of Doom Silda, who seeks vengeance against those who reduced its countrymen to slavering zombies. To pacify his soul and send him peacefully to the next world, there is but one course of action. We must find the Sildan statesman who conceived this dreadful stratagem and have him apologize to the thief in person for the suffering he has wrought. A brilliant plan. Perhaps you'd like to go find yourself a shovel and dig his statesman out of his grave yourself? Leaving aside this nonsense of spirits and specters, it appears increasingly likely that our quarry shares some link to Silda. His garish garb is no doubt meant to evoke the silver scales of the fallen sultanate. This Sildan connection would also serve to explain the rare knowledge of Beldian art uh, relics. Our thief clearly possesses. But what are the murder victims? What common thread amongst them could have incurred the ire of our adversary? Hmm. A few people in town spoke of a man uh, cited calling upon the victims in the past uh, days. Those who saw him said he had a most frightening air about him. Wait... Yes, it's come to me, of course! My keen investigator's senses ring out with a voice loud and clear. This man Miss Ellie speaks of just might know something. You really shouldn't stop thinking so hard. You are like to strain a brain muscle. Miss Ellie, who is this man and where might we find him? My sources identified the man as Googie Ria. A traveling merchant known to frequent Horizon. Shall we pay him a visit?
So many. <laughs> That's frightening. That's just scary. All right, one more time. Uh, I want to beat you. Yeah, okay, I want to beat you. Um. Breaking out of Pancred? Ooh, they're breaking out of Pancred! Oh, oh, oh! This is rude as hell. This is rude as hell. All right, well, yeah, I need to just make a deck. I need to make a deck. I got nothing. I got nothing. This is end days, end times for me. I just lost. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Damn you, young Kate! Look at her, and she's like, I guess you suck. <laughs> Terrifying. The scariest face. The scariest face in all of the game. <laughs> Truly. I think I have like a hundred and some... 150? 100 something cards? A lot. I have a lot of cards. Hold on, I'll show you. Uh, gold saucer card list. I got. I have 117. All right. All right. I don't have 150. I'm a liar. <laughs> I'm a liar. I can't, I can't get Strix. That's pretty nice. Card deck. Make a new deck of the most powerful. I don't. I won't even know what cards to put in here. The most powerful cards. Seven eight Biblos. Seven eight seven eight. Can I go like? What is this? Ooh. Hades? Oh my goodness. I can't do two, can I? Oh, I can't! No, I can't. Nice. Oh my god. Can I... Can I... Oh, break out the girls. They're in love. Oh. Oh, too many. I can't have I can't have this. I can only have one of the girls. Fine. 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 All right, there are my threes. Hosh and far from I just wanted both the girls. Why can't I have both the girls? Fine, we'll take sale. Go eight this way, nice. And then go eight this way. Can I pull this off? It's caused some drama. Now it's you and me, Yayake. One last battle. One last battle. The waifu deck? Yeah. All the waifus, especially Asinian. This is the weakest top. That is terrible. Of all the... I hate chaos. I hate chaos. I hate it. Trash. Trash. All I've done is doom myself to a loss. I didn't even look and see what he had. Rematch! Yeah, okay, rematch! Is Onion Knight a waifu? Hell yes. Alright, things are looking up. Things are looking up. I'll take that. What a monster. Sending is happening. Now I gotta deal with ascending? Ah! I 
hate, I hate, I hate this game. <laughs> she's un she's an unstoppable killing machine. Look at her, and then she makes fun of you when you lose. She's like, ha, 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 you suck. Every time. Oh, I hate her. Oh, I hate her. She's the worst. Oh, yeah, okay. She's the worst. She's, I, I like have been really good about going around and it, I, I think I've done most of the Heaven's Ward cards. I've been really good about trying to go to every zone and like beat everyone who has cards. Is there anyone in this zone? I think I got everyone. That's just a levy. Yeah, I think I did it. Like I've been going through zone after zone after zone doing all the, uh, the card battles. And I think I'm like getting, like I think I'm getting good, but like, yeah, okay, it's just like, <laughs> you dare to fight me? Every time. Every time. My keen instincts tell me that Master Guguria's testimony will be key to a monumental breakthrough in our investigation. Yes, I shall employ the ancient Manderville art of parlay to skillfully extract the information we require. Yes? If you've got business, make it quick. My time's too valuable to waste chatting with every stranger who passes by. Forgive us, good sir. My name is Ellie, a reporter with the Mithril Eye. Never blinking, all seeing, you know the rest. I was wondering if we could trouble you with just a few questions. Was it for love or money that you killed them? Yes, you, the thief of many faces. Me? A thief? What is this nonsense? I don't know who you are, but I ain't got time or patience for this mummery. Now if you'll excuse me, an important client waits. I thought I recognized that- uh-oh, trouble. <laughs> Lady Durilda, well met indeed, pray tell whatever brings you to these environs this fair morning. Oh, hi. I live here, you ham-headed half-wit. Inspector Bryden, this is an unexpected pleasure. Do you have some business with my associate here, pray tell? Guguria, we can discuss business after. Pray, let the inspector here, the handsome one, whatever assistance he requires. But Lady Durilda, what about... Ah, yes, my dear Maria's name day present. I had in mind one of your prize pieces from Este Est Eschemi Est Est latest seasonal collection. You would be able to procure one for me, yes? Or shall I eliminate the middleman and make the trip to Uldar myself? I'll say it just once more, Guguria. I expect you to give the inspector and his companions your full assistance. They, yes, even the stupid one, helped me regain something truly priceless. Yes, something more valuable than any mere trinket. It was a ship, Butterfinger. It was a ship. More valuable than a ship made of gold or diamonds. Friendship. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll tell you what you want to know, but you didn't hear it from me, got it? I was looking into killing on behalf of a client of mine. Or looking into the killing. Ooh, that would have been awkward. The thief's got himself some of that zombie dust. The traitor spurn, was it? And his cards speak of five victims. It got me thinking. Silda, five victims. Ah, the Arbiters of Truth. The Arbiters of Truth. I'm not familiar with the name. I, if you would be, on account of him being something of a secret society and all, 
influential personages of the Sultanate, you see? Working from the shadows to keep false knowledge about the Uldar Sildar conflict from reaching the ears of the folk like you and me! False knowledge? Pray tell. Just what sort of knowledge might that be? Those balls! Don't make me say no more! I've got a family to feed! Very well. Just one last thing. Who hired you and where can we find him? Hob? Hob? His name's Hob. When he heard what I said, he told me he was gonna set sail for Limsa with his five best cell swords to guard his back. Said there were many prying eyes in the airship dock. Said he had a private uh, Said he had a private ship docked and waiting for him at Vesper Bay. But remember, you didn't hear none of this from me. This man, Hob, must be one of the killer's targets. Doubtless he also knows the identity of the remaining one. I doubt that. They say the Arbiters are so secretive they don't know even each... Uh, they don't even know each other's identities. Now, don't ask me how it all works, but... Hob got high-ranking friends at the Blast... Bla the Blast Blades! Once he heard the victims had been all zombified, he panicked. Guess he knew he'd be next. Thank you very much, kind sir. Once again, the ancient Mandeville art of parlay has procured for us a key morsel of knowledge. Let us seek out this hub fellow and see what he can share with us. And let us hurry. The man's life is in danger even as we speak. Oh, yeah, right. The Blath Blades. Oh, hey. What up? Oh, hey. What up? <laughs> I would hear what this hop fellow has to say. Come, my ever loyal associate, let us away to Vesper Bay with all speed. Search for a hop. Let's go. Andrew Jade, thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. Again, all donations will be matched by Butterfinger today. Uh, we're doing it for Extra Life, exclamation point, Extra Life down below. Um, you, uh oh, is this a scene? Are we getting a scene? <gasps> Murdered. M Master Hob, is everything quite all right? No, stand back, Ellie. I'm zombified! I hunger! For your brains! Damn. There's no saving the man. Little, do what you must. <laughs> they did- <laughs> There wasn't even a fight! They were just like, nah, Little's got this. Yes, my first-hand knowledge of zombies tells me this particular shade of green is unmistakably that of the undead. To it seem, we were a few moments late to the scene. A message, and then there was one. <laughs> so mysterious. There it is again. Hmm. Is something the matter, Inspector? I forgot what the voice was for a minute. Indeed, Nashu, there is. Ever since I picked up the trail of the Phantom Thief, I have had this fleeting sense. A sense that someone or something is watching us. The thief might be close at hand. We should be careful. For the moment... Let us return and report our findings to Miss Phyllis. Secret society or no, knowing the identities of its members may yet lead us to the final victim. I, too, had best return to the Mithrae. Let's meet up again after. I'll see what new clues I can uncover in the meantime. You will do nothing of the sort, Miss Ellie. These streets are far too dangerous for you to walk alone. Inspector! Inspector! 
Inspector! I'll go with her! If you insist, Nashu, then I give you my leave. But pray be wary. Not just of the thief, but of Miss Ellie. She has quite the temper, as we both know. <laughs> They're all friends. Miss Ellie, there's something I must tell you when this case is over. Be safe and promise me that you will not attempt anything rash, as you did the time when that fiend took aim uh, at my own life. Your life and spe- Oh! At Cosino's soul! Yes, that was quite the ordeal, wasn't it? <laughs> I'll be careful, I promise. I eagerly await the day when I may hear what it is you would share with me. <laughs> A secret vow? Oh, -ho! consider my interest peaked as well, good inspector. Now let us be off. Miss Phyllis awaits our report. I love that we all looked away like, who would, who would, who would, who would try to blow you up? Not, not us. Not your best friends. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside the cutscene. Gamora. Phyllis. A fourth victim? Fall, have mercy. Were you able to glean aught of the connection to the other victims? The Arbiters of Truth? No, it cannot be. Somebody help! I guess we should go, yeah. Miss Ellie, voice came from the direction of the vault. We must hurry. Miss Ellie, are you hurt? That man, I only thought to ask him a few questions before I knew it. He uh, knew what was happening. He was upon me. I could only... Conk him in the head. Bash his brains in with a conveniently placed bottle of mead, it would seem. Ha <laughs> ha! Remind me not to get on your bad side, Miss Ellie. That said, is Nasher not with you? She saw a figure lurking in the shadows and went off to pursue before I could stop her. This man wears the armor of the Sultan Sworn Squire, yet his face is unfamiliar to me. Something is amiss. The thief of many faces? To think we'd find our man like this. Thrice and again did the fiend elude our grasp, but no more, by virtue of a gentleman's ingenious deductions and a lady's pugilistic poon swans, I declare this case closed. I return the subject to you, Miss Phyllis, whilst this gesture was appreciated. In the end, it proved superfluous to my cracking of the case. <laughs> While you're at it, is there anything else of immense value you'd like to wanly destroy? <gasps> Double mask! What? What's the meaning of this? Ingenious. A double disguised, planted by the thief to throw off his trail. No doubt. This is Googie? Googie? One of my most capable men. I signed him to guard the vault and outfitted him with ample supply of damasking dust. 
It is inconceivable that the thief could easily elude his grasp. Unless the thief was not wearing a mask. Speaking of which, has anyone seen Miss Ellie? No. It's impossible. Of course, it all makes perfect sense. With the Phantom Thief to thank for her burgeoning readership and rise through the ranks of the Mithril Eye, Miss Ellie could not bear to face the possibility of her story of a lifetime coming to an end. Thus, she hatched a plan to... Um, lady, the vault's been breached. The wise man whisper it's gone. For her foul crimes against the Sultanate, I hereby declare, declare, I hereby declare, which is worse than declare, Ellie of the Mithril Eye, the thief of many faces, an enemy of the state. Deploy all troops and do not rest until she is in custody. And now. The game is truly afoot. <laughs> Whoa! Greg! Uh, what is the meaning of all this racket and rumpus? And just as we were about to make our triumphant return, isn't that so, Ingadu? <laughs> Greg, what are you doing here? Miss Ellie! Miss Ellie! The shadow that you saw, you said you saw, I think it's just a dormouse. You know what? She gets the voice too. Actually, you know, to think he literally stumbled face first into the second mask. His good fortune truly knows no end. But not to worry. Yes, I dare say the Phantom Thief has another trick or two up his sleeve. Is that it for this is that it for this quest line right now? Are we gonna get a next time? Oh my god. Here we go. Did we not? Not even the shockingest turn of events will deter a famed agent of inquiry. You're right, we're not done yet. My ever loyal associate, we must find Miss Elliot quickly. Surely, if confronted by her constant companions, she will still be convinced to abandon this fool plan. Oh, Miss Phyllis. I thought you had already departed in the company of your men, but all for the better. Shall we conduct uh, the search together? I fear that would only put them at greater risk. You see, the fifth and final member of the Arbiters of Truth, the Phantom Thief's final target, is none other than... Hildebrand Mender... Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, mind you, it's not a role I sought of my own accord. My name and my passion for history are somewhat well known in the Sultanate. One day, I received an anonymous letter stating that a position in the committee had opened and I had been chosen to fill it. The letter went on to enumerate my duties. To prevent the spread of historical lies that would sully the name of our illustrious nation, as a high-ranking officer in the Sultan Sworn, I was deemed to be a particularly unique position to serve as an arbiter. I knew that there were other members of the organization, but was told nothing of their names or identities, to think that my own compatriots were the victims all along. I cannot put any more lives in danger. I will sequester myself in a uh, place where my presence can cause no harm until such a time as the killer is apprehended. 
Your concern for our well-being is most touching, Miss Phyllis. But there is no need for such a precaution. As a seasoned inspector, I am more than capable of protecting a lady in distress. And as a gentleman, that is exactly what I shall do. My associates here also stand at your side. Speaking of which, has anyone seen my loyal assistant? Over here, Inspector! Whatever! Reverse those words! Ah, there you are, Nashu. You really shouldn't run off on your own like that. I was worried sick about you. Oh, I'm sorry, Inspector! Miss Ellie said she saw someone in the shadows, so I went to take a look. Now, there wasn't anything but a dormouse, but it was a really cute dormouse, you see? I just kept it just kept squeaking and scaring away, and I just... Pardon me for a moment, Nashu. My inspector sense speaks to me. Someone is watching us, little. Let us split up and canvas our surroundings. man is so dumb. The dumbest man. Uh, where's Miss Ellie? Do you think she went to look for the dormouse too? Apologies, little, but I require a moment alone with my thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scariest? This is terrifying. The scariest thing in this entire world. T terrible. Be wary and be warned. Water stain letter. Trust no one, and your friends all the less. Who's writing these? Why are they water soaked? This will avail you well, use it wisely. Demasking, okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Ho, 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 well. If it isn't my beloved son's staunch companion, the mighty Lil. I was in the area on my business, which I curtailed when I felt a suspicious presence from the shadows. Pursuing it led me here. Mayhap it is the same for you. I had to back away. Oh, -ho! so. Your pursuit of the thief for many faces has taken quite the unexpected turn, and now you've come upon a series of anonymous letters. May I bar watch on the shadows as a friend? Or is this but another trap laid by the fiend? Yes, the plot thickens like a dollop of salamander oil. In either event, I dare say the circumstances call for an utmost caution. The thief could be anywhere, or anyone, myself excluded, of course. No mere mask could replicate the physique of a Mandeville man. That said, I fear my dear Hildy may be a bit over his head this time. Allow me to assist you in your investigation. Were anything, <laughs> were anything to happen to Hildebrand, his mother would uh, not be pleased. You're like him too, but a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, hold on now. Anonymous with $100. Thank you, Anonymous, for the donation. Another Anonymous! Jeffrey. Aloysius Bezos. Is that you? Is that you, Jeff? Jeffy? Is that you, buddy? I told you. I know you got that money. We can hit 10,000, Jeff. One donation from you, we're done. You, you nail it. I don't know who this anonymous guy is, but this, this anonymous is doing all the work. Thank you to everyone, but especially John Anonymous. 
John Anonymous sounds like the name of like a Fox show that would be on after House. And it's called Anonymous, but it's like John Anonymous. I don't know what John Anonymous does, but that's John Anonymous is best friends with Kim Possible. Where's Miss Ellie? Do you think she went looking for the Dormouse too? If the sun that speaks true, the villain even now lurks within our midst. And yet, we are but a single shadow of demask and dust at our disposal. We must identify the imposter beyond reasonable doubt before we proceed. You know the players better than I, little. What say you have fused words with each of them and see if all is amiss? Inspector Bride and tell me all about it. Who would have thought Miss L Ellie was a fan thief all this time? She said me food. Were you trying to demask me? Is that, what, is that what another demasking? Miss Ellie is the phantom thief. It is the only logical conclusion, and yet I cannot help but feel that another truth still evades us. Am I doomed to share the same fate as the others? I'd sooner die than become one of those... things. Nothing particularly odd about any of them, you say? Uh, stands to reason. The fiend would not take a risk if he were not utterly confident that he could pull off the rules. Curses. That one's not half a fool the sun is. I must salute him, and quickly. Time is of the essence. I appeared out of nowhere. I question the sultan sworn outside. To a man they insist they have seen not of Miss Ellie. Wherever could she have gone? Uh, father, what brings you here? <laughs> Laughing at you, my boy. Yes, finally the pieces are coming together. Now, if you would kindly stand still and shut up, the fiend already stands among us. Inspector Bryden, I should hope you are not doubting me. Well, I'm quite convinced that even a master imposter would struggle to recreate your particular brand of idiocy. The fact remains that anyone here who spent even a moment alone could be considered a suspect. The thief has proven to be highly efficient at assuming new identities. An astute observation, my gangly friend. I'd say this occasion calls for a dose or two of that powder little here found earlier. There wouldn't happen to be another such a two line about, would there? What remains of our supply has already been distributed to the search party, but worry not. They should be reporting back within a bell's time. Ha. Time might be against me, but just you watch. I'll wiggle my way out of this and turn you into the reeking, drooling corpse you deserve to be. I fear that is, uh, I fear that is more time than we can afford, Miss Phyllis. Fortunately, my powers of deduction will lay the fiend's face bare within minutes. We know that, given the choice, the thief prefers to impersonate familiar personages. As Miss Ellie has had only passing interactions with my dear father, we can safely eliminate him from consideration. That leaves myself, Nashu, and Little here. Nashu and I, in particular, have had a close and extended relationship with our suspect, I shall begin by questioning mine own assistant. I assure you that none know her better than I. Brilliant reasoning as ever, Inspector! Go on, ask me anything! Of all the times this overstuffed buffoon to start talking sense! If he asks me anything too obscure, my cover is good as blue. My relationship with Nashu is so close, I dare say at times it is as if... It is as if we share a mind. If this Nashu is truly my ever-loyal assistant, she should have no trouble completing my thoughts. <clears throat> I'm a Mander Mander Manderville. Man! Doing what only a Manderville...
from the peaks of Kortha Stefanolan, Mander Mander Manderville. Man, you're the best, Inspector! A perfect score. You may rest easy, dear friends. This is unmistakably, unequivocally, indubitably the true Nashu. I've never loved you more than now, you marvelous muttonhead, you. <laughs> Nashu, is something the matter? Just because you've picked up a few more wrinkles beneath the eyes, there's no need to avert that charming face of yours. Damn. Wrinkles? Wrinkles? Look who's talking, you crusty, crinkness old... Uh, genius, Inspector? The charade is up, Miss Ellie. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> Miss Ellie, you somehow look different. So the letter spoke true. The fiend was in our midst all along. My prodigious powers of deduction scream out to me. This woman knows something. Yep. Another two-layered mask may have, but no. This woman bears the striking resemblance. This woman bears the striking resemblance to Miss Ellie. Seven hells, done in by a muscle-bound mutton hand and his motley troop of mummers. Just who are you? Your resemblance to Miss Ellie is most uncanny, and yet... Consulting Inspector Bryden, once again you fail to measure up to your lofty reputation. Of course we resemble each other. Ellie is, after all, my own flesh and blood. My beloved sister, an eminently capable partner in crime. A thousand faces I may wear, but only one name do I bear. You can call me Cece. Charmed, I'm sure. Are you quite all right? Why, you look as if you've seen a ghost. Despite my moniker, I assure you that Ellie and I are no specters. What we are, mind you, is the last living scions of the Sildan aristocracy. Bemused, are you? Befuddled to find two sisters behind the mask? Try using your brains once in a while. Every time you encounter the thief, Ellie was standing right in your midst. No, the thief that four times stole the show. Oh, and those priceless relics was me. Meanwhile, Ellie hid in plain sight, supplying me with just the knowledge I needed to stay one step ahead of my pursuers, all while spinning the hair, raising tales of my exploits that won the hearts of this nation. We owe you a lot, truly. Why, without the tales of your hapless attempts to catch me, we never could have risen to these heights of celebrity. Uh, Miss Easy, from a gentleman to a lady... I would ask you one thing and one thing only. Just what is it you and Miss Ellie hope to accomplish with all your schemes? Justice. Four hundred years ago, Uldan dogs reduced our great nation to a nation of zombies. At long last, the cowards that would still justify these foul deeds will suffer the same fate. Wait. The history said Sildar had turned their own men into zombies. The histories lie, and you work from the shadows, silencing those who would better speak the truth? Who would speak the truth? I don't know why better even got in there. I hate that word. 
You should have died with your fellow's false arbiter. It was Uldar that ordered the creation of the dreadful powder and wielded it as a weapon against our proud ancestors. The history of your glorious sultan is built on a lie! What is this madness you speak of, woman? Not madness. Truth. The powder in my possession was stolen from the Uldan army four centuries ago by one of my ancestors. They say it was his final act of courage in the moments before his leg fell off and his rotting head dropped from his shoulders. This is the truth that the histories don't tell. The truth that this doe-eyed sultan sworn would, keep to, uh, would kill to keep buried deep in the sands of Thanalan. But your time of reckoning is nigh, oh yes. Before long, you and everyone in this rotten nation will know firsthand the horrors of my ancestors knew. <laughs> and just what do you mean by that? Oh, how the idiots lap up the stories. A mass crusader for justice. A dashing rebel waging battle against power and authority. Oh, if only they knew. But they will see soon enough when they're eating each other's brains out on the streets. In the last days before our proud nation was raised to the ground, a band of the final survivors stole the vast quantity of the power from the Uldon vaults, hiding it away in a secret vault sealed with powerful magics. The sole means by which the vault can be opened by assembling four secret relics from Belladea, four relics once housed in the royal palace of Silda before the Uldon dogs stole them and claimed them for their own. And so it dawns upon you at last. Yes, even as we speak, Ellie makes for the vault. The four relics safely in hand. Just think, one day you'll be able to tell your grandchildren you were there when zombie powder rained down on Uldar. No, wait. You'll be dead. <laughs> Preposterous. But first, you, my dear, you will not even have the pleasure of looking upon the last moments of your precious homeland. Let your flesh rot like all of your rotten lies. I think not, Miss Cece. <laughs> Hildebrand! Just for once, could you not get in the way? Godbert Manderville! I can't even trust your sorry ass look after him for a day! I knew it! The president watching over us from the shadows! It was you, my dear wife! He goofed! He goofed so hard! I don't like. There was a shot there, right? It was. <laughs> Someone rewind that footage. That was a clear ball shot. That was like Godbert. <laughs> that was packaging everything. I'm just letting you know that was a lot. <laughs> that, was, that was huge. <laughs> the Mandervilles, man. Ahem. Am I to understand that you're Hildebrand's mother? Greg! <laughs> what is. Aye, this is more like it. Hand to hand, skillet to skillet. It's enough to send a warrior's pulse racing. Prepare yourself, little. The time for a final confrontation is nigh. Ridiculous. <laughs> Do you have potato 
Just for brains, you overstuffed buffoon. My beloved boy's been turned into a stinking corpse. If you haven't bloody noticed. That's her voice, for sure. You, little something, was it? <laughs> Hildy's told me all about your hijinks together. Pleased to meet you. My dear boy's always had a bit of a rebellious streak. What can I say? Ah, uh, <laughs> I can come on a bit too strong sometimes. But can you blame me? This time I thought I'd sit back and leave things to my sorry ass husband here. And look what that got me. You'll help me out, won't you? <laughs> that nod. That was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Starry, thank you for the $10. Anonymous, $200. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Thank you. $25 from Totally Not Crazy Last Boss. That's insane. <laughs> Are <laughs> did, did someone name like... Like, oh my god, what is the end? The end boss of, of Endwalker has to be like... I am... Ender Death, the Walker of Ends. Right? Is that who that is? Well, if it isn't Little JC, such a pest for the, all my plan. But no matter, once I unlock my full power and Lord Galvis can wield me as his proper weapon, you and this star shall be doomed. I am Necron, the Walker of Ends. This is amazing. I dare say, it's quite clear who wears the pants of the family, so to speak. <laughs> Inspector Hildebrand's mother? Reunited with my dear boy for the first time in ages. Just look at him, he's green. Fortunately, there's still time to verse the zombie curse, and I know just the remedy. A foil of holy water. The ingredients are simple. Tad of oversoul rags and a phial of twice distilled water. Synth got and a market stocks the former, and the latter you can procure from a trader by the name of Guest. No hurry. Once the poison spreads through his veins, no ant debt will save him. In the meantime, I shall search for the bummer, bumbler's bumbling assistant. With any luck, Miss Nashu is still alive. Oh, that's smart. I'm Gad. You Gads. I thought I thought I said I'm Gad. I need more Butterfinger. I'm I'm powering down. I'm losing my Butterfinger power. Butterfinger, the power to read out loud. <laughs> you Gads. Butterfinger. Thank you, Joris, for ten dollars. Thank you so much. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ye gods, Hilti, <laughs> you're looking none too hard to yourself. No thanks to you, you bumped an oaf. Now, are you gonna accompany a little here and make yourself useful? Or do I have to introduce you to, to the wall there? Uh, but of course, my lady. Gilgamesh is ever at your service. Since God's sundries, was it? Come now, little. There's work to be done. A bird and I are mortal enemies. Mm, I gotta get to the old. I gotta get to the old oopty. Oh, did you say Butterfinger and ice cream? I bet if you got vanilla ice cream and some Butterfingers and you crunch up the Butterfingers into the vanilla ice cream, you'd have the best day ever. Over! 
numerous old rags, you say. I fear that I've only a single tatter left in stock, and it's already been spoken for. But, my good man, you must reconsider. My dear friend's life, and quite possibly mine own as well, hangs in the balance. I sympathize with your plight, friend, but a man has to make a living. I've been promised a copious supply of rare chimera membrane for these rags, unless you can offer me the same, no deal. Oh, you expect us to be able to summon such a rarity out of nowhere at a moment's notice? Well, look what we have here. If it isn't the warrior of life in the Coliseum, funny to meet you at the markets. Yo, what up, badass? And sister badass? As it happens, I just returned from my training in the slaying of ten chimeras. Just happened to be my task for the day. If it's chimera membrane you seek, you're more than welcome to share. My lady, you're far too kind. Don't mention it. If it hadn't been for Inspector Hildebrand Little here, I'd still be tag-teaming with that slimy beast and cheating my way to fame and fortune. And I'm a woman who pays her debts. We did good. We did a good thing. The whole take me if that wasn't a feel of the tempest. Ever since she confessed her trickery and started climbing back up bottom of the ranks, I've been proud to call myself one of her biggest fans. Why, I have half a mind to give you the rags Zeke simply for the privilege of meeting her. Kind sentiment, my good man. But we were more than happy to uphold our side of the bargain. Aren't we, little? And with this, our task is done. Now, let us find this traitor named Guest. <laughs> oh, what a what a what a what a Where is this traitor named Guest? In the strip. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Over in the merchant strip. Over in the merchant strip. I gotta get there, I gotta get there, over in the merchant strip. Scholars. So to the Alchemist Guild? And then down Scholars Walk? I'm gonna see how much I can get done. I have to race at one. So I'm gonna see how much I can get done before then. Blundering Mandeville boy is on his last legs and needs something of mine to save him, you say? Hmm. Perhaps you can give him, me a good reason why I should care. Those bloody Mandevilles are richer than the traitors themselves, yet they have the audacity to haggle me down to the last guild for every purchase. If my family line ended today, I'd be... Uh, if that family line ended today, I'd be happier and wealthier man. And now I believe the ballroom calls. Good day to you, and do pass along my condolences to the grieving parents. Have you not a shred of honor or compassion in that spindly body? Business rival or no, the man is on death's doorstep. After the events of that day, my father will not so easily forgive and forget, but it matters not to me. No, my love for you is as deep as the seven seas. I beg you, my lady, may I have this dance? It's all paying off. Hey, what's up? What up, Blue? Little, what a lovely surprise. Are you here for the ball, perchance? Heavens, the poor inspector. Well, if it isn't the lampus maiden in the flesh, what say you bid farewell to preen and fops and scuffery adventurers and share a dance with a cultured gentleman befitting your beauty? Why, it would be a pleasure and an honor both, my lord. 
Heck yeah! Provided you first, pro uh, provided you first provide my good friend Little with the bottle of twice distilled water that he seeks. I did good things. I did good things. It's all coming back to me. You know this man? <laughs> if this is the price you would set, then so be it. Take it is barely worth its weight in gill, anyway. Now, shall we, Miss Arabella? Inspector JC, getting it done. I knew Hildy to be a worthy rival, but to think he was this be beloved by so many, clearly this realm would deeply mourn his loss. Quickly, little. Let us deliver these goods while there's still time to save him. Hey. Where do I need to go for this? Boom, boom. Just around the corner here, huh? Trust two of you wouldn't dare come back empty handed. Bloody brilliant! Oi! Take over you muscle headed half wit of a husband. <laughs> I'd take you, even, over my muscle headed wit of a half, half wit, whatever. Boom, bang, bang, bang! That's the words. Now stand back and let me show you some real man of a home cooking. Thor, you bloody bugger. Go in me skillet. I love her. I unabashedly love her. Oi, that just stopped the spread. Now it's up to Hilly to flush out what's left of his system. Don't worry, he's my son after all. I reckon he's still got some fight left in him. Look who I found. She was slumbering obliviously in a rubbish-strewn corner of Pearl Lane. Boy, did that nap feel good? Yes, I'm sure it did. Little word uh, has it that Ellie has been sighted in the Silden ruins. We must go there with all haste. You done me, boy. You done well by me, boy, today. Don't worry, I'll handle things from here. There's a nice warm bed for him, and I think I know a few specialists who might know a thing or two about his condition. What the seven hells are you standing here for? The future of a door is at stake. Oh, my strength is yours as well. For old Da, and for our friend Hildy. You, you remind me of my husband. What were you having more muscles than sense? If you're keen on making yourself useful, why don't you run to the markets and bring me some fire crystals? Give him a dear boy warm is key to fighting off zombification. Let's see, I believe 20 crates are so should suffice. I am a warrior, not a. Uh, uh, yes, my lady. <laughs> why are we getting this scene? Why is this happening? I say, Guru, the burden we must bear simply to secure my long-awaited final confrontation with Little. That said, the events of today have given me cause to reflect. Little and Hildy both owe to be blessed with such veritable legions of friends, tried and true. But alas, not I. No, only one true friend I've ever known, and she is long lost to me. You are a fine bird, and have given me great comfort in my travels, but you will never be Inkadu, my one and true companion. Oh, my friend, were you here with me, even little could not stand against our combined might. 
Oh, Inkadu, wherever you may wander, hear my words and return to my side. Inkadu, do you hear me? Inkadu! You gods, what was that flash from the heavens? It nearly blinded me. It the crystals, where have they gone? Oh my god, he's... voice could it be my faithful companion why must you always make me wait so damn it greg damn it greg <laughs> oops all primals uh i think i can get this quest and then we'll we'll yeah ooh, 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 ooh. What you doing, Dilly Dally, around here? Let me jog your memory. There's a moon sick maid digging around a sealed excavation site with a mindset and turning it all down to a land of the walking dead. You can serve for Hildy's most touching, but don't you worry, Mummy Dearest isn't gonna let her beloved son kick the bucket that easy. Meanwhile, primals. All right, um, I guess I'll head to, I guess I'll head to the gold saucer. Uh, but that's the only thing people might not have if they're starting fresh chocobo, it's, but it's your advantage. Oh, so I can go, I should go buy a thing? $100 from Tundra Bleaver. Oh, Beaver. Bleaver, I don't know what that is, but a Beaver, I know what that is. Thank you so much, Tundra. Thank you. Thank you all for your donations. Thank you, Anonymous, again. Thank you, everyone. You're amazing. I love you all. Thank you. You have entered to win this very Chocobo plush behind me. Signed by yours truly. This, this troublemaker. Choco Cure 2. Choco Cure 2. Choco Cure 2. Choco Dash, Choco Cure 2. How do I teach him Choco Cure 2? How do I teach my bird this? What does that say? Your race Chocobo must unlearn an ability before you can teach him a new one. Well, what ability does he currently have? Gotta get left wa left water? Purchase items. Well, that's not... Race items? Okay, left, left water. Oh, I know, Mr. Face. Stalking me. Beautiful. How do I do this? So what does that get me, by the way? Why did I learn that? How does Chocobo, how does the Choco Cure help me? Extra stamina. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so tall. Terrifying. 
terrifying. All right. Well, I think we I think we can do this. I believe in us. I believe in us. And by uh oh, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get let me get some Gotcha. Okay, so I have confirmation that even though so if you entered to win the um Butterfinger swag bag, didn't have a bunch of cool stuff in there, but it will not have codes. However, if you buy $5 in Butterfingers, wink, you can get a code right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at this little cutie pie pirate. That's a cutie pirate. It's a cutie pirate. Oh, are we drinking? Yay! Drink, 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 drink. Whoa, new background. Who this? This is the office. This is my office. Somewhere around here are other people being cool, doing cool things, but here am I. Here am I doing the things. Yeah. Hanging out, being cool, living my best life. You know. Is little JC even old enough to drink? With a voice like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine he's old enough. <laughs> I got chairs. You know you're at an office when you got too many chairs. I got chairs. I guess, all right. While we wait for this race to start, I think it's time. Anonymous, thank you again. Oh, my goodness. Anonymous doing all the, putting in the hard work. Okay. Here we go. Behind me right here, whoop, right there, is the, let me get you an image of this statue. Oh. Uh, All right, don't look up. Don't look up Omega male and female. It does not. It does not take you to what you think you're gonna see. <laughs> it does not take you to what you think you are going to see. Maybe I should include Final Fantasy XIV in that. Ah, there we are. <laughs> Ooh, oh, 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 boy. It's not going to take you to what you think you're going to see. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, right now, if you would like to enter to win yourself a statue that looks like... This. Just for watching. You don't even have to like... You don't even have to have donated. This is just for watching. Just for tuning in today to watch. If you want to win this statue. All you got to do. Here's the thing. I already took the codes. So you're not you don't you're not going to get the code. Sorry. I took the code. <laughs> I took the code. Cuz I want it. But if you want the statue, what if you want the emote? That's that's on you. <laughs> I took the code. I'm using the code. I want the code. But if you want this statue, I will gladly send it to you. Totally freezies. All you, yeah, I, we bought it for the moat. I used your bits. I used your bits to buy this just for the emote. And now I'm giving the statue away to you. So here's the thing. If any of you want this, all you have to do is in chat, tell me the name of the two sisters who are behind the greatest crime of the century. Oh, we have our wiener. Dark Elemento. Dark Elemento. 
is our winner today, Whisper Dark Elemento. Yo. Congrats, Dark Elemento. You now have... Uh-oh, that's... You're way too cute. You're way too cute to me. Look at this. Look at this cutie boy. All right. You know what? I got another one. All right. I got another one. Behind me also is my Final Fantasy VII Cloud riding his sweet motorcycle statue. Um, I'll delete this. Delete. Remove. And everyone knows what Cloud looks like, so I shouldn't have to show you that. I shouldn't have to show you that. So I got that as well, and I'm going to give that away. But we got to make it harder. This one's got to be, this one's not first come, first serve. This one is how many jobs, oh boy, hold on, 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 hold on. How many, I don't want to say what I was going to say. That's, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> uh, let's do this really quick. Hold on. 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 Okay. How many jobs for Disciple of the Hand do I have at 80? Go. First one to get it correct wins. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel that sucks. Well, uh, I. The, the correct answer is. One. I have one job at 80. And the winner is Chichen. Chichen. You are a wiener. Whisper. What the is your... Hmm. There you go. Chichen. Chichen is the wiener. Congratulations. Only one? I know. Look, I'm aware. My, I, I read a guide, I, I leveled Goldsmith, and then I read a guide that said, get these up first, then you can use these to do these. And I'm like, okay. I said hand. I said uh, Disciple of the Hand. Disciple of the Land is zero. So I got Goldsmith up and was like, that was expensive to do. Do I have anything else to give away? Do I have anything else fun to give away? Yes. So now, if you rewind the video, if you rewind the video, I said I didn't want to say a thing. It's because it was Jobs of the Hand that I was trying to shorten it. I was like, if anyone can tell me how many, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, probably shouldn't say that out loud. When do I learn? All right, PF is up. Ooh, PF is up. What does that mean? Party finder. Oh. Oh. Would it be under other? What would it be under? Private. Is this it? Loot? Set four? Oh, set four. Yeah, this is it.
Don't look at my screen. It's got a password. Don't look at my screen. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm ready to lose. I, for one, welcome the loss, but I'm excited to be a part of it. Go Costa del Sol racing. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's do this thing. I will get to your DMs uh, before this stream ends. I promise you. I'm about to get destroyed. Come on, Crystal Whisper. We got this. We got this, Crystal Whisper. Restores 9% of total stamina. This should be fine. Probably hurt me a lot. I just want them enough. Might as well go for it. You can do it! Oh, no, he's tired. My boys, no, you can do it! You're not tired anymore! Yeah, not last place. Fourth place. I'll take it. Right where I deserve to be. Right in the middle. <laughs> Actually, there were two NPCs, I think, as well, so... Not bad. Not bad for not knowing what I'm doing. That bird is, like, from the future. How did that thing look like that? Man, I'm jealous. So is that it? Are we done? I guess I don't move on. Yeah. I'll take fourth. That was pretty good. I used all my F-Zero skills to, to push through at the end there. I was like, two more races still. Okay. Except. Can we, are we allowed to play this while we, are we allowed to play this? I can't, I can't accept you. How do I exit this? Okay. One more. Ooh. Let's go, let's go. Ooh. Gridania. I 
I got six points? Man, I'm so excited. I'm not still... Oh, you missed all of Hildebrand. That bird is just built like a truck. I'm so far behind, I'm so far. I thought that, that thing said Ethan Winters. I was like, oh man, even this game's like, are you not playing? I'm not playing the right game right now, Jesse. percent complete can I do what am I 25 percent left let's go little let's go 92 percent come on little you got this you got this come on be Ethan Winters you got this little you got this in the end like yup, yup. crystal whisper like i'm coming up from behind oh never mind <laughs> i thought it was me it was ethan winters you deserve that i stole that i stole that from you you deserve that you deserve the bonus <laughs> you earned it you earned that <laughs> that's the power of butterfinger right there oh i still have some left oh yeah i need my butterfinger fuel took that victory like it was his hand and my name was Lady Dimitris. I was like, snap! <sighs> you got the Butterfinger Mount yesterday? I'm so jealous, Frost. This is a terrible start. My start is running into a wall. I'm gonna have to have a talk with these guys. This is a terrible start. Look at that! No. 
Did I get dummy birded? I'm in a frenzy. Oh no, I'm in a frenzy. I mean, that's fine. I'm not worried. Yeah, friends. Oh no, this is ruthless. Oh no, this is ruthless. I'm so lathered. I'm so lathered up. Well, that's the end of me. I got stuck in the middle of that. That's what happens when you play with the big boys, I guess. Ethan Winter's coming on strong. I gotta wait. I'm only 45% in and I'm at 45% speed. These guys beat me up. Oh my god, that was it, that was it. That's how I die. I got too cocky, I flew too close. I flew too close to the sun. Flew too close to the sun. Now I'm getting calls from Ohio. I don't know who the hell is in Ohio. Probably the Chocobo Commission. Like, that was terrible. Oh, yes. Oh, my lathered. I jumped over it. Oh! I am so incredibly far behind. I got broken. I couldn't even catch up if I wanted to. Oh my god. They destroyed me. I got so screwed. Here's the thing. They knew they knew that I was they knew that I was talented and they had to take me out. That's like when you crash another person's car. If this was racing, I would have gotten out and punched those guys in the face because they tag team me. They tagged they knew I was good. They knew I'm the best player out there, really. They knew I was the best player out there, so they had to take me out. I get it. I was fierce competition. I understand. I get it. They had they had to take me out because I was too powerful. I was too powerful. They had to take me out. I understand. It's why I can't be in the rest of these races. They took me out. Damn, that sucks. I was going to do so well, but they were like, nah, nah. He's too good at this game. He's too good. And I understand. I understand the fear. I saw the fear in their eyes, though. I saw the fear in their eyes, and they were like really worried. They saw me coming. They were like, "He went. For, he went from fourth place to third place. What's next after fourth and third? First. That's how it goes. Fourth, third, first. That's how it works. They knew I was coming for them. They saw it in their eyes, and so you know what they did? They ganged up on me. They were scared. That's fine. This season may be over, but next season I'm gonna get them. Next, I'm gonna train in the off season. I'm gonna train in the off season." And I'm going to get them. They don't even know. They don't even know. They think they're so smart. Well, I'm going to go get them next time. I'm still in it? How am I still in it? I passed. <laughs> Wait, what? Jesse Angeles comic and whoops advance. <laughs> How was I third overall? <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> the fear's back in their eyes. The fear's back in their eyes. They're worried now. They're worried. They're scared. They're so scared. They don't even know. They don't even know. They're scared. I'm coming for them now. Also, I'm totally going to accept this. Let's duel. Let's du 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 duel. Well, well, well. Three open? I'm gonna drop this right here. Uh -oh. What? Is it your turn? What? Oh no, you're blue. Oh my god, I've never been red before. This was a unique experience for me. I didn't even know I didn't even know what was going <laughs> I had no clue what was going on. I was like, wait, hold on. I'm this? You have you have cloud, literal cloud? I see how this is going to be. I see what this is going to be like. I've never been red before. This is a new experience for me.
entirely new experience. He's going to place a card there. I see where this is going. This is leading towards a loss, but... Interesting. Because that can go there and take this guy easy. But is it optimal? Nope, that's what he's going to do. F me. F me. Oh, boy. And then he can put that there and take that. You know what? A draw is a draw. Good good job on all of us. The Grahatia? With another Grahatia? That was like Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> no one won. I'm trying to figure out what I do next. What do I do now? What comes next? Do I do I wait some more? Do, can I go to do the rest of... Can I go to do... Alright, let me see here really quickly. Okay, I need to make a note. Uh, Omega goes to... Boy, I hope the... Boy, I hope I get this right. And then... This one goes to Poland. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I love that you love my streams. All right. I have both your addresses. I will certainly get those to you ASAP. How about we get you an Omega mount? How do we get an Omega mount? How do I do that? I would love an Omega mount. How do we do... O12S, baby. Well, first, there's one thing I have to do. Well, maybe. I don't know. Let me see here. What is the... um? I guess we could do... I don't know how much time we have till I have to race again. I'm waiting to find out. Uh, whatever you'd like, be ready in 15... Can we beat it in 15 to 20 minutes? Can we beat it in 15 to 20 minutes? Dodger said if you wanted to team up, get on Twitter. What does that mean? Team up what? What are we teaming up? What's happening? Get on Twitter? I am on Twitter. What's happening? What? Discord? <laughs> what do you mean? What are you saying to me? Mm, all right, well then let's. I'm gonna go uh, switch back over to Inspector JC. Why is this? I swear to God, I thought I repaired these yesterday. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Would I have to roll off against Dodger for an Omega mount? That's the real question, because I am I know what the world's like. Everyone's going to want Dodger to have the Omega mount, because I'm like me and Dodger's Dodger. So Dodger's going to get the Omega mount, and I'm going to be like, well, that was fun. And I'm going to be jealous for like three days, and then I'm going to have to deal with that pain of rejection. You get it from achievement 100% for clearing. Oh. All right, then yeah, sure. Then yeah, sure. What is this? Uh, I got confidence in you, boy. I'm glad you do. Okay. Needless to say, we've uh, considered physical, physically incapacitating her. But that crate she's sitting on isn't just a makeshift chair. It's filled to the brim with the traitor spurn. One misstep and the consequences could be dire indeed. You are our only hope, Little. 
Even in her single-minded rage, surely the time you spent together must still count for something. You need not put yourself in undue danger. I only ask that you step forth to where your voice may be heard and call out your friend's name. I beg of you, little. Surely if anyone can convince the woman to abandon her madness, it is you. Say, shout Ellie. Hey, yo, Ellie! Do I have to target her? Or do I have to stand over here appropriately? Hey, Ellie! She just happens to be in the middle of a thing. Oh, I think this girl and her sister were behind the crimes all along. I dare say this realm is awash with capable adventurers. Uh, you do well not to anger the last friend. She sent a tumble on ample supply of zombie powder, and I suspect she's not afraid to use it. Miss Ellie! I thought we were friends! You did a thing! The biggest belief that I couldn't have been so blind. Just stand here and go. Ellie! With a capital! Little, I suggest you leave this place while you can. I bear you no grudge, but should you so much as think of interfering, I'll not hesitate to turn you into a zombie too. So, it was you after all. Consider me disappointed. Your sister Cece is already in custody. Surrender now and I will see that no harm befalls her. How little you understand us, Inspector. Then again, how could anyone born into a life of power and privilege ever hope to understand? Cece and I have no family, no friends, no fortune, nothing. Two sisters against the world with, our, uh, with only our quest for justice to give us meaning. Long ago we made a vow. Should the worst happen, our mission take priority over all. Yes, over our own wretched lives. Do you see now? Anything I might have once had to lose, I lost long ago. Now stand down, or suffer the same fate as the old darn dogs you would defend. Ellie, stop this madness! I'm sorry, Inspector. Hey, we're zombies! <laughs> There's too many of them! <laughs> We're ready now. All in a day's work for Mandeville, man. Yeah. Only you only delay the inevitable. I have an entire legion of the undead at my beck and call. Face it! It's only with Inspector Hildebrand's ridiculously good fortune that you ever made it this far. And he's as good as six foams under. 
happy for one girl. Know that I speak from experience when I say underestimate Hildy, and you do so at your own peril. I'm afraid you underestimate me as well. No mere splash of holy water can stave off the effects of the traitor's spurn. I fear the good inspector's luck is finally run out. Balls, balls. Is there no end to them? I'm not lacking all chances. Greg, was it? Yeah, he's Greg. It's a shame to lose you, little. Warrior of light that you are, you might have yet served one last purpose for us. Go forth, my zombie minions. <laughs> I knew it would come full circle. I knew this would happen. <laughs> of course. For oh, there is one true zombie. When darkness falls and hope fades to despair, four warriors born of light shall descend and give righteous glare. Bugger me with a broadsword! Are my eyes to be believed? That pose. No, these are not four warriors of light that I see. So dumb. The four gentlemen of light! Unreal. Just so, my good man, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has made his triumphant return. Did you miss me? Tell me you've got my snorble tonic, or I'll fashion myself awake from your lovely locks after I've ripped them clean from your bloody head! <laughs> oh, hello there, Mr. Elazar! Cool, you're looking absolutely splendid to die! Impossible! The holy water couldn't have cured him! It did! Fortunately, our overlord spent quite some time building up an immunity to zombie powder. Full circle. Can't believe this is where we're at. When we heard that Master Zombabrand was at risk of joining the actual dead, we knew we had to take action. An immunity to... I'm just going to pretend this makes <laughs> any of this makes sense. The game is up, Miss Ellie. Pray abandon this madness. Besides, plots of mass murder hardly suit a lady like yourself. He loved you, Ellie. He loved you. It's over. It's all over, Inspector Pride. And you said there was something... You would tell me when all this was through? I imagine you have no words for me now. Ellie, your powers of deduction are wanting. You said that you had lost everything and everyone you had to lose, did you not? As for me, I have found something, someone with whom I intend never to part. I care not if it takes years, even decades. When you emerge from your jail cell, a free woman, I will be there. What do you say? <laughs> He's a detective with a criminal girlfriend. Beautiful. They all posing. This guy still no hair. Miss Ellie, 
while the crimes perpetrated by you and your sister are unpardonable. You are far from the only ones guilty. On behalf of the syndicate, I offer my apologies with a false aspersion cast on your ancestors. You said the nation will die was built on lies. Seeing what I've seen today, I cannot deny your words. It will not be an easy task to rewrite nay restore history. But know this, I will do everything in my power to bring the truth to the fore. Uh-oh, it's time. <laughs> Greg is so... <clears throat> Are we not forgetting someone here? And by someone, I mean me! If you're quite done playing Cloak and Dagger, I require a little presence for a matter of... Far greater importance. Aye, the time of our long delayed confrontation is nigh. <laughs> Greg. Why the long face, friend? Ah, uh, mayhap this will give you singing a happier tune. This will have you even. Words. Oh. Birds! Could it be? The treaty blade. The one. The true one at that? None other. And I have not the slightest intention of parting with it. Save to the one who would defeat me in single combat. Uh, but I must speak. It will not be single combat this time. Is that my cue, old friend? Holy shit, this guy summoned a real primal. Oh, be merciful. What is that abomination? Some new breed of void scent? Abomination, I'll thank you to address my companion with courtesy, girl. Ah, oh, but twas the most curious thing. There I was, hauling a crate full of crystals for Hildy's mother, thinking how much better things would be if my dear friend Inkaru were here. Then came a flash from the heavens, and next thing you knew, there she was! By the gods, it makes perfect sense! Doubtless the crystals heard Greg's heartfelt plea, summoning forth his friend, Nay! No mere friend, but rather the primal Ingenu! I just noticed the zombies in the background! And the world has now completely and utterly ceased to be bound by the loss of logic! Little... You have bested me in the past, but facing the two of us together will not prove an easy task. And yet, I trust you will not shirk from your ch uh, from the challenge. Ah, uh, Inkadu and I shall wait you at Amdapur Keep! I'm so excited! Ooh. It is a ways from here, but what better venue for a climactic confrontation? If you would claim the Treaty Blade, then claim it from me as a warrior! To the skies, Inkadu! To the skies! The race beckons me. I know, I'm trying to get out of the- I'm in a cutscene! Two against one, that's not very gentlemanly of you, Greg! Come, little, to Amdapur! <laughs> Everyone's just like, what the hell just happened? This is a great film indeed. To think the one man who could summon a primal on his own... Uh... <laughs> I must send word to the science at once. Lady, I am the science. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, but of course, I never forgot Warrior of Light. Yeah, no, I'm here. Damn, Warrior of Light. All right, I gotta go back. What is the party? What is the party? Uh, This is the semifinal. Okay, is it the exact same code as before? Party, party, finder. Uh, join? Yes. Password, you can't see this.
Okay. Off to the races. I'm going to hang out with my crew here. Look at the inspector go. I'm right behind you, inspector. Uh-oh. Now to win the greatest race of my life. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, everyone in this race is amazing. <laughs> Come on, Crystal Whisper. We got this. We got this. I need to just not get out front at the beginning. That's what that's what got my butt kicked last time because all these superstars like that. Look at this. Look at this. Did I dodge that? I hope so. Frosty's a monster, a mean monster. Can I target someone or just automatically throw? Uh oh. Going fast. <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> we can afford to speed up a bit. Look at these speedy boys. I guess it makes sense that I'd be lathered in the water. That checks out. Hero tonic. What did that even do? I feel like I'm so far behind. <laughs> Nothing I can do is going to catch up. I was just way far behind. All right. Thank you, guys. Name is Wild Uranus. They probably have much better birds. That's fine. I didn't think I'd make it out of the first round. This is, I've already won. I've already won today. And with that, my work here is done. You were by far the least incompetent associate I encountered in my travels. For preserving some shred of my sanity, you have my thanks. That said, my time in this land was not a total loss. My experiences here have taught me an important lesson that this world and the fools who populate it rarely, if ever, abide by the principles of logic. They should serve me well in my future cases. And most importantly of all, I leave here with a vow that has given my life new meaning. <clears throat> but this is no time for sentiment. The gentlemen of light core! They're every bit as radiant as I pegged them to be. One day, one day I'll be a hero myself. Just you watch. Ellie, forgive me. I'm sorry for deceiving you little. For what it's worth, it wasn't personal. After 400 years, this might very well spell the end of the Arbiters of Truth. Whether or not to re- uh, oh, oh, Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Phyllis. I uh, thought they were but what lies. Oop, doesn't matter.
these boys go. They fast chocobos. Name Jolly Souffle, that's cute. Seventh, I go. Destroyed my eye. Uh, like these people are mean or something. Like mean, mean haters. when uh, one of those schools that definitely shouldn't be in the final four makes it to the final four and it's like embarrassing for everyone but like it's fine everyone's excited they're there they still they Cinderella made made it there I'm just happy to be here yeah it definitely seems like I'm not prepared for this level of racing but like it's cool I'm excited to be here yeah I made it to the next round this is pretty I'm impressed with myself yeah I read that whether or not to replace the Fallen is a decision for my superiors to make. In either event, I've decided to renounce my position. I thought they were but white lies, but I have seen firsthand the suffering they can cause. <laughs> I knew that if anything could bring back bring Hildy back from the undead, it would be my dear wife's hand-mixed holy water. That's a world-class culinary, and I'm married right there. All's well that ends well, little... Uh, Hildy's undead acquaintances were kind enough to make an appearance at my request. Who'd have thought zombies could be such gentlemen? I reckon it must be my son's good influence. To Amdapur. Yeah, uh, I mean, now that I've actually, I've never until today raced a chocobo. So now that I've done it, I can see how, like... It can be a lot of fun to put time into. I uh, I literally have no experience with it, but like I dig it. It's super. It's super fun. All I'm saying is, when I, I started playing this game nine months ago, I got a lot. To, I got a lot to play still. <laughs> I got a lot to do apparently. Octo is master chocobo racer. Octo is master of everything that is pointless in this game. If there is something that is pointless, Octo is the master of it. That is for sure. That man, that man is a chocobo master. I mean, it doesn't give me, it doesn't give me MGP apparently. Hold on. 
Being in front is ruthless. I can't control. Oh, no. Well, I can't control myself. I'm, I'm out of control. Poor Uranus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Uranus. I demolished you. I demolished Uranus. I just don't have the stamina. It feels like I, I am always lathered. Like, all the time. And I don't want to be. I'd rather not be lathered. I got nothing. Uh, oh, well. Frosty is over here just like with still stamina left. Damn. Strong. Frosty doesn't deserve a bonus. The bonus that Frosty gets like easy wins. <laughs> That's the bonus. All right. Have I officially lost? Dobar with $20. Thank you, Dobar, for donating. Anonymous with another $50. Thank you. Therese. Therese. L. $100. Thank you so much. Chichen with $25. Thank you again to everyone who's donating. It means the world. We're at $2,910. Let We could do some more. Come on. We could do some more. We could do a little more. Oh, my God. Harley bought... You shall not pass, probably. Is that it for me? Am I done? I don't want to start this if I didn't lose already. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for inviting me. That was my first Chocobo races. Well, the ones earlier were. And I did pretty good in those, I feel. Bird, Jesse, and whoops, unfortunately eliminated. <laughs> whoops, bird. I'm sorry that you had to be listed with me. I was bad. You probably did very well. <laughs> you probably did great. I did not. All right. Let's make a group to defeat the villain. Oh, wait. Hold on. I need to do the quest. <clears throat> Is that you, little? Pray forgive me. I was right on Greg's trail when I encountered a subterranean curiosity that demanded my immediate attention. I will be concluding my investigation forthwith. But in the meantime, might I trouble you to entertain Greg and his primal friend in my stead? Together, we will reclaim that tritty blade from that knave, little. Ah, uh, just go on ahead. I'll be along directly. About the big keep! Oh my god, are we gonna get the music again? Oh my god. Invite me, invite me, invite me. Am I gonna have to be a healer? I don't wanna be a healer. Oh. Invite. 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 <gasps> Can I be blue? Can I be a blue mage? Oh, wait, why do I, why do I look like this? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, go blue. Hell yes. Invite one last spot. I got a whole team of killers right now. All right, here's the question. SGS when? Uh, soon. For one dollar soon. <laughs> There's your answer. David Boyd, 50 bucks. Thank you, David. Anonymous, $10. Thank you so much. 
Did we hit three? Did we hit 3,000 Dolores? Oh, we're so close. We're so close. I can smell it. You get the spell Missile from Big Keep? Oh, that's the one I've been waiting for. Missile's the one I've wanted this entire time. Oh, I need it. Oh, I need it. Should um we do this as... uh? Here's the thing. Should we do this as min item level? Should we min item level this? Not level 50 blue? Oh, I guess you're right. Do we need do we need level 50 blue? No, no. Ask the group not to kill him too fast or he won't use missiles. I think they know that. Does it increase the chance for learning each blue? I forget. No. Best to do it sync for better chance of the spell. I don't know. I don't know why it said. I don't know. I don't know. No, just sync to get the spell. Well, we're synced, so we're fine. All right, let's do this thing. Play my music. Three thousand raised as the music starts. Thank you so much, Anonymous Hulk with five dollars. Thank you. Long less we meet again on the battlefield. I dare say, Kido, you're welcome. You kicking my ass. You, however, might not find this one so enjoyable. Tell Dodger if she wants to run uh, Omega. I would love to run Omega with her. I can't believe they played the old version of the song. It's so good. Do I attack this one first? By the way, I guess don't kill it fast. I don't know what the I don't know when the missile happens. Oh no, I'm a chicken! There it was. I think he cast it already. I guess. Flip the mats. Bosses now. Uh oh. Me, run away, ha! I was but seeking out more dialogue, but enough exposition. Now we fight like men and ladies, and ladies who dress like men! Urgh. For Gilgamesh, it is transmogrifying time!
I was about to say, we need the remix. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That man summoned the moon. I guess I'll just stay ranged. My full complement of arms would avail me not. It's because he has six arms. I get the job. Oh! No more hijinks from Gilgamesh. You have my word. The Treaty Blade 2. I shall return. Just as soon as I remember where I hid it. Anyway, I yield to your unparalleled puissance. Bitch. <laughs> My little chubby boy. It's like, yep, did it. This is a team of heroes right here. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Patrick Banta, thank you for the $50. This donation is for the kids, and because of how much you laughed on Chaluminati when you accidentally spit while reading this, and you saw how much Lara got looked like Alex. It does. It does. I laughed so hard, I almost died. Uh, and then Josie, thank you for the 10. Thank you, Josie. Who? Are we 
are we? I'm a Mander, Mander, Manderville man. And I'm dancing like a man, Manderville can. From the shores of Coast of El Sol till to the Thanalan. didn't pass or roll. Oh! Hey, we're in there now. I got a good old, I got, I got, I got an inky. Yay! Now, the story show once again. Do we get another like next next time on? Oh my god, we definitely are. <laughs> I'm rolling with JC now. <laughs> Not <laughs> I lied again. <laughs> can take that fusty old blade for all I care. I thirst for true power and not save up. Not reading that. War of Light, you have proven a worthy opponent. But I warn you, treasure every moment with your weapon. <laughs> for as sure as day follows night, the hour will come when I claim it as my own. Till we meet again! Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. What ho, little? Have you seen Greg and his oversized Amy companion? Lead me to them at once, and I shall deliver the Coupe de Gracie. The battle has already been won. This is triumphant news indeed. Clearly, the lessons you have learned with me, from me even, have not been for naught. And what's this you say? The treaty blade lies hidden somewhere in the nearby wood? Worry not, my ever-loyal associate. For no buried treasure will escape the keen eye of Hildebrand, Age of Inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire. Now which way was the forest again? Oh, hey, friends. <laughs> you dragged them all the way- This is unnecessary. They didn't have to be here. Little, what news of the Primal and the Treaty Blade? Remarkable. I knew the Warrior of Light would emerge triumphant. Let us hope that Inspector Hildebrand enjoys similar success finding the blade. Such design. Such craftsmanship. At once bold and powerful, yet sensitive and refined. I believe I've found the inspiration for my next masterpiece. Of course they're beautiful. They were the greatest treasures of lost Silda. To think that they are lo uh, they were locked away in the vaults of those who destroyed our homeland and dragged our ancestors' names through the mud. And just how did you come to know of these long-lost relics? There was an ancient scroll passed down in our family, left to us by our dear grandmother... <laughs> My dear grandmother, it spoke of four warriors of light, their four relics, and an incantation of untold power. If we could have wielded this magic of legend, Ellie and I might still have had the last laugh. Alas, speaking the words had no effect. Only a warrior of light can wield the power, or so the log legend goes. Ah, oh, what I wouldn't have given to seen it. The ultimate achievement of the greatest mages this realm has ever known. And just what sort of incantation is this? The ring casts open the doors of justice. The wise men uh, whispers a verdict true. As, uh, Azimuz? Azimuz, yeah. Virtues shine down from the heavens. To complete the incantation, 
The warrior of light would hold the fourth treaty blade and speak. Blade in hand, I swear unto you. The legends differ as to what happens next, but all speak of a great holy radiance shining down from the heavens. Over here, friends, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, returns with tidings most triumphant. Are we in Enwalker territory right now? Behold, safe in my hands, none other than the Treaty Blade, and the real one this time, I swear unto you. Yes, yes. Just like that, I swear unto you then. This idiot. My word, whatever is this odd tingling sensation? Ridiculous. Hildebrand isn't a warrior of light. He's just some fool who thought he could stop the lesser moon with his own bare hands. It would seem the treaty blaze just confused the rest of us. No. The light. Someone stop it. I won't stand to see the legendary power of our forefathers wielded by this muscle-bound buffoon. I dare say that proved to be the most useful incantation indeed. And so the light of justice that shone the treaty blade banished the shadow, returning peace to the land. The le so the legend ended. I must say, I never expected to be quite literal, the beam of light. I suppose it wouldn't have been much use to us after all. <laughs> Inspector! Oh, Inspector, wait for me! Thou's bowels, Hildy. First you almost die at your poor mother's feet. Why'd she become southern all of a sudden? Now you're flying and going stuff no way over. We're rolling it and we're back to normal. <laughs> it appears the case of Wanderlust has once again struck Hildebrand, as it has many a Mandeville man before. Godspeed, my boy! When the day comes that you tie of mystery solving, your dear old man will be here to pass on to you the family art. So, in the end, the Sildian incantation of legend was wielded not by a warrior of light, but a gentleman of light? Well, the treaty blade is some six centuries old after all. Perhaps it's not quite as sharp as it used to be. How dare they? How dare they with this? <laughs> the magic that brought peace and happiness to the people of Beldia. Beldia. It was every bit as beautiful as I imagined. To think I would see with my own eyes. It's nothing short of a dream come true. <laughs> he bumbles and stumbles through yet another case, and still he manages to make a girl's dreams come true. Gentlemen, to the end, the bloody bastard. I can't believe them. What is this? A glint in the corner of my eye, a curious scent wafting in on the winds from a far-flung land? Do I smell... a case? When is this a mount? When do I get this as a mount? <laughs> Worry not for me, my friends. Forever the wronged want for sucker. I, Hildebrand, shall be there. Bye. Why is this not a mount?
Oh my god, do I get oh my god, complete. Yes. So I assume there's more in there's like a Heaven's Ward version and then a uh whatchamacallit version. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. There definitely is. How dare they? How dare they? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Oh my god. That's good stuff right there. Uh oh. Hey, I'm still in this. Fiend. <laughs> That's all, folks. That's all, folks. Needless to say, we've uh, considered physical, physically incapacitating her. But that crate she's sitting on isn't just a makeshift chair. It's filled to the brim with the traitor spurn. One misstep and the consequences could be dire indeed. You are only hope, Little. Even in her single-minded rage, surely the time you spent together must still count for something. You need not put yourself in undue danger. I only ask that you step forth to where your voice may be heard and call out your friend's name. I beg of you, little. Surely, if anyone can convince the woman to abandon her madness, it is you. Say, shout, Ellie. Hey, yo, Ellie! Do I have to target her? Or do I have to stand over here appropriately? Hey, Ellie! She just happens to be in the middle of a thing. Oh, I think this girl and her sister were behind the crimes all along. I dare say this realm is awash with capable adventurers. Uh, you do well not to anger the last friend. She's sent a ton of ample supply of zombie powder, and I suspect she's not afraid to use it. I thought we were friends. You did a thing. The biggest belief that I couldn't have been so blind. Just stand here and go. Ellie! With a capital. Little, I suggest you leave this place while you can. I bear you no grudge, but should you so much as think of interfering, I'll not hesitate to turn you into a zombie too. So, it was you after all. Consider me disappointed. Your sister Cece is already in custody. Surrender now and I'll see that no harm befalls her. How little you understand us, Inspector. Then again, how could anyone born into a life of power and privilege ever hope to understand? Cece and I have no family, no friends, no fortune, nothing. Two sisters against the world with, our, uh, with only our quest for justice to give us meaning. Long ago we made a vow. Should the worst happen, our mission take priority over all. Yes, over our own wretched lives. Do you see now? Anything I might have once had to lose, I lost long ago. Now stand down, or suffer the same fate as the old darn dogs you would defend. Ellie, stop this madness! I'm sorry, Inspector. Hey, we're zombies! <laughs> that 
There's too many of them. <laughs> We're ready now. All in a day's work for man of old man. Only you only delay the inevitable. I have an entire legion of the undead at my beck and call. Face it! It's only with Inspector Hildebrand's ridiculously good fortune that you ever made it this far. And he's as good as six foams under. Be forewarned, girl. Know that I speak from experience when I say underestimate Hildy, and you do so at your own peril. I'm afraid you underestimate me as well. No mere splash of holy water can stave off the effects of the traitor's spurn. I fear the good inspector's luck is finally run out. Balls, balls. Is there no end to them? I'm not lacking all chances. Greg, was it? Yeah, he's Greg. It's a shame to lose you, little. Warrior of luck that you are, you might have yet served one last purpose for us. Go forth, my zombie minions! <laughs> I knew it would come full circle. I knew this would happen. <laughs> of course. For oh, there is one true zombie. Darkness falls and hope fades to despair. Four warriors born of light shall descend and give righteous glare. Bugger me with a broadsword. Are my eyes to be believed? That pose. No, these are not four warriors of light that I see. So dumb. The four gentlemen of light. Unreal. Just so, my good man, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has made his triumphant return. Did you miss me? Tell me you've got my snorble tonic, or I'll fashion myself awake from your lovely locks after I've ripped them clean from your bloody head! <laughs> oh, hello there, Mr. Elazar! Cool, you're looking absolutely splendid to die! Impossible! The holy water couldn't have cured him! It did! Fortunately, our overlord spent quite some time building up an immunity to zombie powder. Full circle. Can't believe this is where we're at. When we heard that Master Zombabrand was at risk of joining the actual dead, we knew we had to take action. An immunity to... I'm just going to pretend this makes <laughs> any of this makes sense. The game is up, Miss Ellie. Pray abandon this madness. Besides, plots of mass murder hardly suit a lady like yourself.
He loved you, Ellie. He loved you. It's over. It's all over, Inspector Pride. And you said there was something you would tell me when all this was through? I imagine you have no words for me now. Ellie, your powers of deduction are wanting. You said that you had lost everything and everyone you had to lose, did you not? As for me, I have found something, someone with whom I intend never to part. I care not if it takes years, even decades. When you emerge from your jail cell, a free woman, I will be there. What do you say? He's a detective with a criminal girlfriend. Beautiful. They all posing. This guy still no hair. Miss Ellie, while the crimes perpetrated by you and your sister are unpardonable, you are far from the only ones guilty. On behalf of the syndicate, I offer my apologies with a false aspersion cast on your ancestors. You said the nation will die was built on lies. Seeing what I've seen today, I cannot deny your words. It will not be an easy task to rewrite nay restore history. But know this, I will do everything in my power to bring the truth to the fore. Uh-oh, it's time. <laughs> Greg is so... <clears throat> Are we not forgetting someone here? And by someone, I mean me! If you're quite done playing Cloak and Dagger, I require a little presence for a matter of... Far greater importance. Aye, the time of our long delayed confrontation is nigh. <laughs> Greg. Why the long face, friend? Ah, uh, mayhap this will give you singing a happier tune. This will have you even. Words. Oh. Birds! Could it be? The treaty blade. The one. The true one at that? None other. And I have not the slightest intention of parting with it. Save to the one who would defeat me in single combat. Ah, uh, but I must speak. It will not be single combat this time. Is that my cue, old friend? Holy shit, this guy summoned a real primal. Oh, be merciful. What is that abomination? Some new breed of void scent? Abomination, I'll thank you to address my companion with courtesy, girl. Ah, oh, but twas the most curious thing. There I was, hauling a crate full of crystals for Hildy's mother, thinking how much better things would be if my dear friend Inkaru were here. Then came a flash from the heavens, and next thing you knew, there she was! By the gods, it makes perfect sense! Doubtless the crystals heard Greg's heartfelt plea, summoning forth his friend, Nay! No mere friend, but rather the primal Ingenu! I just noticed the zombies in the background! And the world has now completely and utterly ceased to be bound by the loss of logic! Little... You have bested me in the past, but facing the two of us together will not prove an easy task. And yet, I trust you will not shirk from your ch uh, from the challenge. Ah, uh, Inkadu and I shall wait you at Amdapur Keep! I'm so excited! Ooh. It is a ways from here, but what better venue for a climactic confrontation? If you would claim the Treaty Blade, 
Then claim it from me as a warrior. To the skies, Ingenu, to the skies! The race beckons me. I know, I'm trying to get out of the, I'm in a cutscene. Two against one, that's not very gentlemanly of you, Greg. Come, little, to him to pour. <laughs> Everyone's just like, what the hell just happened? This is a great film indeed. To think the one man who could summon a primal on his own. Uh, <laughs> I must send word to the science at once. Lady. I am the science. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, but of course. I never forgot Warrior of Light. Yeah, no, I'm here. Damn, Warrior of Light. All right, I got to go back. What is the party? What is the party? Uh, this is the semifinal. Okay, is it the exact same code as before? Party, party, finder. Uh, join? Yes. Password, you can't see this. Okay. Off to the races. I'm going to hang out with my crew here. Look at the inspector go! I'm right behind you, inspector! Uh oh. Now to win the greatest race of my life. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, everyone in this race is amazing. <laughs> Come on, Crystal Whisper. We got this. We got this. I need to just not get out front at the beginning. That's what that's what got my butt kicked last time because all these superstars like that. Look at this! Look at this! Did I dodge that? I hope so. Frosty's a monster, a mean monster. Can I target someone or just automatically throw? Uh oh. Going fast. <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> we can afford to speed up a bit. Look at these speedy boys. I guess it makes sense that I'd be lathered in the water. That checks out. Hero tonic. What did that even do? I feel like I'm so far behind. <laughs> Nothing I can do is going to catch up. I was just way far behind. All right. I think your guy's name is Wild Uranus. They probably have much better birds. That's fine. I didn't think I'd make it out of the first round. This is, I've already won. I've already won today. And with that, my work here is done. 
You were by far the least incompetent associate I encountered in my travels. For preserving some shred of my sanity, you have my thanks. That said, my time in this land was not a total loss. My experiences here have taught me an important lesson that this world and the fools who populate it rarely, if ever, abide by the principles of logic. They should serve me well in my future cases. And most importantly of all, I leave here with a vow that has given my life new meaning. <clears throat> but this is no time for sentiment. The gentlemen of light core! They're every bit as radiant as I pegged them to be. One day, one day I'll be a hero myself. Just you watch. Ellie, forgive me. I'm sorry for deceiving you little. For what it's worth, it wasn't personal. After 400 years, this might very well spell the end of the Arbiters of Truth. Whether or not to re- uh, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Phyllis. I uh, thought they were but what lies. Oh, doesn't matter. Boys, go! They fast chocobos. The name Jolly Souffle, that's cute. Ayo, ayo! Jesse! This guy is gonna just murder me. Ruthless. Well, back to seventh I go. Destroyed my eye. It's like these people are mean or something. Like mean, mean haters. like when uh, one of those schools that definitely shouldn't be in the final four makes it to the final four and it's like embarrassing for everyone but like it's fine everyone's excited they're there they still they cinderella made made it there i'm just happy to be here yeah it definitely seems like i'm not prepared for this level of racing but like it's cool i'm excited to be here yeah i made it to the next round this is pretty i'm impressed with myself yeah i read that whether or not to replace the Fallen is a decision for my superiors to make. In either event, I've decided to renounce my position. I thought they were but white lies, but I have seen firsthand the suffering they can cause. <laughs> I knew that if anything could bring, back, bring Hildy back from the undead, it would be my dear wife's hand-mixed holy water. That's a world-class culinary, and I'm married right there. All's well that ends well, little. 
Uh, here are these undead acquaintances. We're kind enough to make an appearance at my request. Who would have thought zombies could be such gentlemen? I reckon it must be my son's good influence. To Amdapur. Yeah, uh, I mean, now that I've actually, I've never until today raced a chocobo. So now that I've done it, I can see how, like, it can be a lot of fun to put time into. I, uh, I literally have no experience with it, but, like, I dig it. It's super, it's super fun. All I'm saying is, when I, I started playing this game nine months ago, I got a lot to, I got a lot to play still. <laughs> I got a lot to do, apparently. Octo is master chocobo racer. Octo is master of everything that is pointless in this game. If there is something that is pointless, Octo is the master of it. That is for sure. That man, that man is a chocobo master. I mean, it doesn't give me, it doesn't give me MGP, apparently. Hold on. Being in front is ruthless. I can't control. Oh, no. Well, I can't control myself. I'm, I'm out of control. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Uranus. I demolished you. I demolished Uranus. I just don't have the stamina. It feels like I, I am always lathered. Like, all the time. And I don't want to be. I'd rather not be lathered. Nothing. Uh, oh well. Yeah. Frosty is over here just like with still stamina left. Damn. Strong. Frosty doesn't deserve a bonus. The bonus that Frosty gets like easy wins. <laughs> That's the bonus. All right. Have I officially lost? Dobar with $20. Thank you, Dobar, for donating. Anonymous with another 50. Thank you. Therese. Therese. L. $100. Thank you so much. Chichen with 25. Thank you again to everyone who's donating. It means the world. We're at $2,910. Let We could do some more. Come on. We could do some more. We could do a little more. Oh, my God. Harley bought. You shall not pass, probably. Is that it for me? Am I done? I don't want to start this if I didn't lose already.
Thank you, everyone. Thank you for inviting me. That was my first Chocobo races. Well, the ones earlier were. And I did pretty good in those, I feel. Bird, Jesse, and whoops, unfortunately eliminated. <laughs> whoops, bird. I'm sorry that you had to be listed with me. I was bad. You probably did very well. <laughs> you probably did great. I did not. All right. Let's make a group to defeat the villain. Oh, wait. Hold on. I need to do the quest. <clears throat> Is that you, little... Pray forgive me. I was right on Greg's trail when I encountered a subterranean curiosity that demanded my immediate attention. I will be concluding my investigation forthwith. But in the meantime, might I trouble you to entertain Greg and his primal friend in my stead? Together, we will reclaim that tritty blade from that knave, little... Ah, just go on ahead. I'll be along directly. About the big keep! Oh my god, are we gonna get the music again? Oh my god. Invite me, invite me, invite me. Am I gonna have to be a healer? I don't wanna be a healer. Oh. Invite. 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 <gasps> Can I be blue? Can I be a blue mage? Oh, wait, why do I... <laughs> why do I look like this? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, go blue. Hell yes. Invite one last spot. I got a whole team of killers right now. All right, here's the question. SGS when? Uh, soon. For one dollar soon. <laughs> There's your answer. David Boyd, 50 bucks. Thank you, David. Anonymous, $10. Thank you so much. Did we hit three? Did we hit 3,000 Dolores? Oh, we're so close. We're so close. I can smell it. You get the spell Missile from Big Keep? Oh, that's the one I've been waiting for. Missile's the one I've wanted this entire time. Oh, I need it. Oh, I need it. Should um we do this as... uh Here's the thing. Should we do this as min item level? Should we min item level this? Not level 50 blue? Oh, I guess you're right. Do we need... Do we need level 50 blue? No? No? Ask the group not to kill him too fast or he won't use missiles. I think they know that. Does it increase the chance for learning each blue? I forget. No? Best to do it sync for better chance of the spell. I don't know. I don't know why it said... I don't know. I don't know. No, just sync to get the spell. Well, we're synced. So we're fine. All right. Let's do this thing. Play my music. <laughs> Thousand raised as the music starts. Thank you so much, Anonymous Hulk with five dollars. Thank you. Long less we meet again on the battlefield. I dare say, <laughs> Kidu, you're welcome. You kicking my ass. You, however, might not find this one so enjoyable. Tell Dodger if she wants to run uh, Omega. I would love to run Omega with her. I can't believe they played the old version of the song. It's so good. Do I attack this one first? Let's 
scary. This is scary. Um, uh, by the way, I guess don't kill it fast. I don't know what the, I don't know when the missile happens. Oh no, I'm a chicken. There it was. I think he cast it already. I guess. Flip the mats. Bosses now. Uh oh. Me, run away, ha! I was seeking out more dialogue, but enough exposition. Now we fight like men and ladies, and ladies who dress like men! Urgh. For Gilgamesh, it is transmogrifying time! I was about to say, we need the remix. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The man summoned the moon. I guess I'll just stay ranged.
think that my full complement of arms would avail me not. It's because he has six arms. I get the job. Oh! No more hijinks from Gilgamesh. You have my word. The Treaty Blade 2. I shall return. Just as soon as I remember where I hid it. Anyway, I yield to your unparalleled poussons. Bitch. <laughs> My little chubby boy. It's like, yep, did it. This is a team of heroes right here. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Patrick Banta, thank you for the $50. This donation is for the kids, and because of how much you laughed on Chaluminati when you accidentally spit while reading this, and you saw how much Lara got looked like Alex. It does. It does. I laughed so hard, I almost died. Uh, and then Josie, thank you for the 10 Thank you, Josie. Who? Are we? I'm a Mander, Mander, Manderville man. And I'm dancing like a man, Manderville can. From the shores of Costa del Sol till to the Thanalan. <laughs> Who didn't? Pass or roll. Oh, hey, we're in there now. I got a good old. I got. I got. I got an inky. Yay! Now the story shall once again. Do we get another, like, next next time on? Oh, my God. We definitely are. <laughs> I'm rolling with JC now. <laughs> Not? <laughs> I lied again. No. You can take that fusty old blade for all I care. I thirst for true power and not save up. Not reading that. War of Light, you have proven a worthy opponent. But I warn you, treasure every moment with your weapon. <laughs> for as sure as day follows night, the hour will come when I claim it as my own. Till we meet again! Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. What ho, Little? Have you seen Greg and his oversized AV companion? Lead me to them at once, and I shall deliver the Coupe de Gracie. The battle has already been won. This is triumphant news indeed. Clearly, the lessons you have learned with me, from me even, have not been for naught. And what's this you say? The treaty blade lies hidden somewhere in the nearby wood? Worry not, my ever-loyal associate. For no buried treasure will escape the keen eye of Hildebrand, Age of Inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire. Now which way was the forest again? Oh, hey, friends. <laughs> you dragged them all the way- This is unnecessary. They didn't have to be here. Little, what news of the Primal and the Treaty Blade? Remarkable. I knew the Warrior of Light would emerge triumphant. Let us hope that Inspector Hildebrand enjoys similar success finding the blade. Such design. Such craftsmanship. 
At once bold and powerful, yet sensitive and refined. I believe I've found the inspiration for my next masterpiece. Of course they're beautiful. They were the greatest treasures of lost Silda. To think that they, are lo uh, they were locked away in the vaults of those who destroyed our homeland and dragged our ancestors' names through the mud. And just how did you come to know of these long-lost relics? There was an ancient scroll passed down in our family, left to us by our dear grandmother. <laughs> by our dear grandmother. It spoke of four warriors of light, their four relics, and an incantation of untold power. If we could have wielded this magic of legend, Ellie and I might still have had the last laugh. Alas, speaking the words had no effect. Only a warrior of light can wield the power, or so the log legend goes. Ah, oh, what I wouldn't have given to seen it. The ultimate achievement of the greatest mages this realm has ever known. And just what sort of incantation is this? The ring casts open the doors of justice. The wise men uh, whispers a verdict true. As, uh, Azimuz? Azimuz, yeah. Virtues shine down from the heavens. To complete the incantation, the warrior of light would hold the fourth treaty blade and speak. Blade in hand, I swear unto you. The legends differ as to what happens next, but all speak of a great holy radiance shining down from the heavens. Over here, friends, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire, returns with tidings most triumphant. Are we in Endwalker territory right now? Behold, safe in my hands, none other than the Treaty Blade, and the real one this time, I swear unto you. Yes, yes. Just like that, I swear unto you then. This idiot. My word. Whatever is this odd, tingling sensation? Ridiculous. Hildebrand isn't a warrior of light. He's just some fool who thought he could stop the lesser moon with his own bare hands. It would seem the treaty blaze just confused the rest of us. No. The light. Someone stop it. I won't stand to see the legendary power of our forefathers wielded by this muscle-bound buffoon. I dare say that proved to be the most useful incantation indeed. And so the light of justice that shone the treaty blade banished the shadow, returning peace to the land. The le so the legend ended. I must say, I never expected to be quite literal, the beam of light. I suppose it wouldn't have been much use to us after all. <laughs> Inspector! Oh, Inspector, wait for me! Thou's balls, Hildy. First you almost died at your poor mother's feet. Why'd she become southern all of a sudden? Now you're flying and going stuff no way over. We're not that and we're back to normal. <laughs> it appears the case of Wanderlust has once again struck Hildebrand, as it has many a Mandeville man before. Godspeed, my boy! When the day comes that you tie of mystery solving, your dear old man will be here to pass on to you the family art. So, in the end, the Sildian incantation of legend was wielded not by a warrior of light, but a gentleman of light? Well, the treaty blade is some six centuries old after all. Perhaps it's not quite as sharp as it used to be. 
How dare they? How dare they with this? <laughs> the magic that brought peace and happiness to the people of Beldia. Beldia. It was every bit as beautiful as I imagined. To think I would see with my own eyes. It's nothing short of a dream come true. He bumbles and stumbles through yet another case, and still he manages to make a girl's dreams come true. A gentleman to the end, the bloody bastard. I can't believe them. What is this? A glint in the corner of my eye? A curious scent wafting in on the winds from a far-flung land? Do I smell... a case? When is this a mount? When do I get this as a mount? <laughs> Worry not for me, my friends! Forever the wronged want for sucker. I, Hildebrand, shall be there! Bye! Why is this not a mount? Oh my god, do I get... Oh my god, complete. Yes! So I assume there's more in... There's like a Heavensward version, and then a... Uh, whatchamacallit version. Do you know what I mean? Uh-oh! There definitely is. How dare they? How dare they? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Oh my god. That's good stuff right there. Uh oh. Hey, I'm still in this. Fiend. <laughs> That's all, folks. That's all, folks. And then he vanished. And then, and then he's gone. Well, hold on. Now that I just get, I just got myself nice, nice. And I have the outfit too. Boy, uh oh, what is this? What is this, Mr. Tia? Bowl of Odin. You know what? Fair trade. <laughs> Savory ingredients. Oh my goodness. My god. Fair trade. So, I, I don't understand how this works. Can we use it up to 10 times? All right. I was like, where's the number on this? It's a housing item. That's neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Okay, well. Um. Oh, the new emote. Yeah, I forgot. Got it. Oh no, he's disconnecting. I forgot the new moat. <laughs> yeah, hit him with the flex, JC. Ah, <laughs> uh, perfect. Oh, that's lovely. All right, well, um, I'm going to head back to, really quickly, I'm going to go back to the estate. And then, I think the plan should be, yeah, is, uh, I'll harass Dukes and see what Dukes says. Dukes, what is, uh, oh my god. I got four calls from, um, 
from like, uh, you know, those people who bug you on the phone and they all left me messages that I guarantee you're gonna be like, you have been contacted by the FBI. You are wanted for a crime. Please call this number to pay us money. Your insurance is invalid. If you want to have insurance, please contact us at... Those suck. Those are the worst. I hate those. I hate those things. They're terrible. Scam calls suck. Your car insurance is out of date. If you would like car insurance, please contact us out. Yeah, the FC house is, is beautiful. They change it every season, too, because they're like that. Because Kate's like that. Kate and the minions 